everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and let us have some good time together uh, my topic today is like uh, a mix of topics actually but uh, uh, the reason I am a little bit late but I am like we are Arab we are always late you know I mean people go to the moon we will go to the moon but you know we will be there I mean but late but the Prophet Muhammad he was there before everybody remember that uh, anyway uh, when I'm opening my browser, I saw a video uh, by an atheist. And he is an ex-Muslim. You know, I understand that atheist people are genius. And I think that the word genius coming from the word genie. Because atheists, when they speak about anything, regardless if it's Islam or Christianity, they have the idea of genie. As an example, this guy here, he want to show you that, you know, he is not a fan of a Christianity, uh, but he understand that Jesus is better than Muhammad, but at the end of the day, both of them, they are bad. So I wanted to give him a spank before we go to Islam. This is his view that Jesus, why is that that Jesus was also 2,000 years old, older than Muhammad. We can make it young for you. I mean, if this is a problem, my friend, we can now change the date. I mean, this is two atheists are thinking. Like, why Jesus is 2,000 years old? I mean, you know what? I never thought about it. That's a, that's a good point. That you destroy Christianity. I mean, why he is 2,000 years old? How Christians even can answer that? You are a genius, not genius. You are just a genie. Uh, you, tell us more. I'm really impressed with the intelligence. But his morality is far better than the morality of Muhammad. Uh -huh. why, why is that? And I'm like... I am sure of that, that if we pull out any person from ancient times and we put him in this day and he'd be like, oh, you guys are bleeding heart tree huggers. What is this crap? Why do you, why do you pet your dogs as if it's your son? <laughs> you know, they will have a different morality. <laughs> so I, I would apply the same thing on Jesus as well. But if you look at Jesus's life, you know, he is a far better character than Muhammad. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we can find only a couple of evil verses like where... Uh, where one of the verses says that I was not sent for peace, I was sent as a sword or something. And then, you see, this is how stupid you are. I mean, atheists are atheists, what you can do. Did you even read the verse, you idiot? You see, I usually I call people donkeys just to give them a rank of education. You know, I don't think you are on that level yet. Uh, you did not pass that rank. I don't know what the name of the little donkey. If you idiot, you go to the verse, you will see that Jesus is not talking about he killing, Christian killing. You will see that because of me, you will be tortured. Because of me, you will be killed. Because of me, a sword will be on you. But the stupid silly you, and the stupid silly he, and the stupid silly she, they do the same as the Muslims. You cut from the whole story, you cut two words. Did you even read the chapter? Obviously you did not. You see, isn't it a shame that you are a person who says you live in 2021 and you want to give an opinion of morality, opinion of education, but the educated person is somebody go and read the chapter and then he will see that he is no better than the donkey Muhammad. Because if we can go here and read the chapter, you will see that Jesus is not talking about, I came to make war. He did not make the war. He said, love your enemy, you idiot. But because people reject his teaching, and then they will kill those Christians who they believe in that teaching. This is why Jesus, he said, you know, when you talk about peace, you know, and if you go to a house, let your peace come upon it, which means Christians should come to any house with peace. If those people reject your peace, they don't want your peace, they kick you out, your peace will return to you. The same chapter.
And you will see that Jesus, he sent his disciples to do all the good work, not to kill. You heal the sick, you clean the lepers, you raise the dead, you cast out devils. And not only that, freely you have received, freely you give, which means all those things you do for free. But the stupid you and the stupid he, You caught, you do exactly like the Muslim. You know, they claim those atheists, they claim that they are better than Muslims. You do exactly what, actually, I believe that you copy that from the stupid Abduls. And Jesus said to them, These things I have spoken to you, that you should not be made to stumble. They will put you out of the synagogue. Yes, the time is coming that Whoever kills you will think he is all for good service. Service to who? To God. So the sword you are talking about, you either did Jesus launch a war? Did he say takbir? Idiot donkey. I don't really care for atheists because I find them very silly and very stupid. Somebody wanna convince me that he is he used to be a monkey. You are a monkey. I do not need to debate it. You prove it yourself. A monkey is somebody, he see the banana, he think there's no tree, it's called banana. Because all what he see, he sees the banana, he wanna eat it. But there's a tree where the banana come, banana come from. And you wanna convince yourself that you are a banana, but you wanna convince yourself that there's no tree. And you used to be a mosquito, and then you became a chicken, and then you became a monkey, and then you became a human. Evolution. I don't know, I mean, now you are in the best process, by the way, in evolution. Because you used to be a Muslim, now you are an atheist, and tomorrow you will be a hippie. So, sometimes atheists are way worse than even Abduls. You see, actually, the worst criminals in history after Muhammad is atheist. Go and see what the commies they did in the Soviet Union. Stalin used to sign every morning 4,000, 5,000 people to be executed, every morning. Go and see what they did in, in, in China. And they give you speeches about morality and freedom. Nobody is dictator as you are. You see, at least the stupid Muhammad, he come with some rules. If you follow them, you, you, you know, you get away with it. With atheists, there's no rules. The dictator, up to him, he do whatever he want. To the point even that they decide to Chinese women, you can have only one baby. This is what we got from your atheism. So a woman, a poor woman, she spent her life, she cannot have any child except one baby. And if she have another baby, she might be executed. What kind of morality your atheism brought to us? Morality for them is just to be hippie and have sex around. But they don't bring us anything good, really. In the same time, you will see how hypocrite they are. If you ask this guy, I'm not trying to insult him, are you willing to have sex with your mother? He will say, no way. Okay, why? Is that atheism thing? Is that the, the, the holy book of atheism taught you? As long as everybody is, a, is an animal, and she is a female and you are a male, then you are, you say, no way. So you claim to be an atheist, but the fact you are taking your morality from us, the good ones, if you have a good one inside you. If I say to you, you are going to have sex with your sister, you say no way, your daughter, no way. Why? Aren't you an atheist? Hippie? Anyway, we finish with this kid. Let us go to other Abdul. You see, the title of my video is a challenge, open challenge to Allah, aka uh, uh, Allah, aka Allah, aka Muhammad, aka potato, aka tomato. Those are the ones who teach people good manner. And those are the people who teach you about Islam. And those are the ones who have the knowledge. Yes, brother. But you know, when the Muslims they speak about the religion, I die laughing. 
not literally, metaphorically, hello, because now somebody will say to me, see, G G G G Christian Prince, he said, I die laughing. That's mean he claiming that he die every day and he come back. And as the same as Jesus, he said, I bring sword. Abdul, metaphorically, I die laughing. So this guy, you know, they call now uh, Yasser Qadi the Jal, and you, any any sheikh they don't agree with each other, they call them the Jal. You know, like the Jal is a title for free. You know, give any the Jal in Arabic mean uh, liar, like big liar, like like big fat liar, like big 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 so big, like big, you know. You can imagine how big it is. Like I, I can't describe to you how big he is. So the when the Muslim they use the word the Jal, they speak about the one who will claim to be the Messiah. So the one who claimed to be the Messiah he is the biggest ever in line. And here I ask myself, why? So if I claim to be Muhammad, I'm not a big liar. Obviously, because anyone can be Muhammad. If you are a child molester, if you are a criminal, if you are filthy, if you are a hypocrite, if you go to your, the house of your son and flirt with the wife, you are Muhammad. Easy. But you cannot be Jesus. Listen to this. What the false Jesus can do? And then you will hear my challenge to Allah. Is you're thinking, what does that have to do with the Dajjal? Why did Prophet Sallam say that? Because the Dajjal will come and play, uh, pretend and claim to be Allah. And he will command the, the heaven to, to reign and it will reign. And he will give life to the dead and he will do some, some, some extraordinary things. Look at this. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? If you ask this guy, Okay, what is al Masih al-Dajjal mean? He will say to you, it means literally, the false Christ. Christ, the liar, which means he is pretending to be Christ. Okay, so how he is a pretending to be Christ, and by doing that, he is a pretending to be God. If in Islam, the Messiah is not God. Are you getting my idea, guys? Are you are you understand what I'm saying? All those stories about the Dajjal. So at the Dajjal, he is the Muslim. They don't call him the Dajjal. They call him. You see in the translation here. This is a false translation. They say the Antichrist. Muslim don't believe in such a thing, Antichrist. That is a stupid Photoshop to their books. The Dajjal is the false messiah not antichrist all right that's a very false translation so if the dajjal is the false messiah how by claiming to be the false messiah automatically he claimed to be allah any muslim can tell me especially the one who is worried about him and the one who will follow him is the muslims And you will see that this false messiah, he will kill a human and then he will make them go back alive. Like he will bring a sword and chop the person to pieces and then he put him together. So when you claim to be the messiah, you are going to try to convince people that you are the Messiah. So what you do, you do extraordinary things, things nobody can do, because this is what the Messiah does. See, he is not doing what Allah do, because Allah can do nothing. What is the difference between the Antichrist and the false Christ? Well, the Antichrist is not a person claiming to be Christ, you know. Uh, the Antichrist is somebody uh, you know, will let us say uh, power of people will gather around him and he will be fighting everything Christ stands for, everything Christ taught, everything Christ, uh, the faith of a Christ, let us say. So, Antichrist, the Bible says, who is the Antichrist? Is the one who denied the Father and the Son. So, there's Antichrist as a person and there's an Antichrist of a belief. But the belief is present the person. The one who denied the father is the same one who, and deny the son, is the same one who followed the Antichrist, and the Antichrist himself, he believed in that.
or let us say he promote that so in Islam there's no Antichrist there's a person who will come as a false messiah and this person the Muslim they call him a Dajjal al Masih al Dajjal not a Dajjal only the Dajjal is a short name al Masih al Dajjal Messiah the false Messiah And all these stories in the front of us is about this person, the false messiah. But then you will see that Muhammad is so worried about Muslims thinking about this false messiah to be Allah. We heard this Abdul saying that this false messiah will claim to be Allah. Did you hear it? He is not just a person who will come and do, uh, let us say, miracles, uh, powerful things. No, no, no. He is not going to establish even a new religion. He will claim to be the God of Islam. So by claiming to be the Messiah, and this is here you see the stupidity of the founder of Islam. How the person claiming to be the Messiah and that that how that automatically make him claiming to be Allah. Do you see this, this, this stupidity here? Because if the Messiah is a messenger in Islam, and the guy he said, I am the Messiah. So the Muslims, even if they accept him to be the true Messiah, they accept him as what? As a prophet of Allah. Do you see the stupidity? The confused Muhammad, the false Muhammad, he mixed information together, proving to us that in a certain point, Muhammad, he wanted to be a Christian, believing that Christ is God. Or he was trying to adopt the idea to be Christian. When the Christian rejected him, he became a Jew. When the Jew rejected him, he became a Sabian. So he tried his best to have a group to support him. Remember, he started with nothing, right? And his wife Khadija, if you remember, when Muhammad first time been squeezed like mayonnaise and no mayonnaise came out when he came from the Kiev, his wife Khadija, she took him to a priest. The Muslim, they say that Khadija, she was not a Nasara. A Nasara is a Christian sect, which is a, like Jehovah's Witnesses, false Christian sect heresy if Khadija was not Christian sect false sect why she took him to the priest because if she is not then she is pagan and then she will take him to a monk who is a pagan monk somebody he do witchcraft maybe but she did not do that she took him to a priest why she did that because obviously she is a person belong to this priest faith especially he even is his is his uh, his uh, uh, he used to be a pagan which means if he if he is a person who left paganism and he became a nasara then the people around him his family they will reject him because he left the faith he changed his faith this would happen usually but she did not reject him she approved him, and you will see that Muhammad is always with Warqa, and Khadija herself is the one who took him to Warqa as if he's a kid. So, my questions and my challenge to Allah, Aka Muhammad, Aka Abdul, Aka Sheikhs, all of you are Aka nothing. What in the world happening that somebody claimed to be the messiah suddenly the muslim they think is allah any muslim can tell me how the nasara come to believe in well there is many uh, you know as any uh, belief anyone can create an idea and people follow it like jehovah's witnesses like mormon very easy i, I know i can i can claim something i will find a bunch of idiot believe me 
and then we grow. This is how it works. It's not a, it's not like a, a, you know, there's like if you go and read the history in, in example in USA, this is in this century, not like in 20th centuries ago. I mean, America is a new country as a civilization uh, after the Indian. You will see there's many cults. Even some of them, they claim to be the Messiah. There's a guy who used to be, I think he lives, I don't know where, Florida somewhere. He claimed to be the Messiah and he have only uh, uh, women with the big breast around him. Like Muhammad, you know, he liked big breast. And he claimed to be the Messiah and there's people, they come to him. And he died a few years ago. So if you think that's how this is can happen it can happen there's there's right now there's people they worship shaitan there's a synagogue of satan literally their god is satan they worship satan they wear black clothes they put rings in their face blah 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 you know and then they go into that to their supposedly called the church or a mosque and then they pray to the uh, to shaitan he is our lord you know he is the lord which is remind me of those people that muhammad himself obviously he worshiped shaitan too because even the hadith says that Muhammad he received command from the devil do you see it Muhammad he said there's none amongst you whom is not attached uh, uh, to the form of a jinn or devil they the companion they said to him are you will you too up there upon he said yes with me too but Allah he helped me against him so I'm safe from his hands and he does not command me but good do you see it so we have a guy who say loud and clear I receive command from shaitan and the claim is that shaitan is good See, this is a good shaitan, brother. He was a bad shaitan, he's a bad shaitan, but Allah helped me against him. So shaitan command me to do good. Have you ever heard of a shaitan command to do good? Like what? Hey Muslims, can somebody give me a good command of shaitan? I want to learn one. So we have a clear evidence that Muhammad, actually all the Quran confirmed that shaitan, he worked for Allah, and Allah, he is just another form of shaitan. You know, if you go and see, who is the one who spread enmity between you? Who is the one? The Quran says, shaitan. The one who spread enmity is shaitan. Chapter 5, verse number 91. You see it? The same chapter saying that the one who spread enmity is Allah. <laughs> Can you believe it? Twice. In the same chapter, it says it twice that Allah he spread hatred and enmity. And in the same chapter, it says once that shaitan he spread enmity. So Allah he went twice to one. This is chapter 5, verse number 14. Allah spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. The same chapter. So we string them with enmity and hatred between one to other. In the same chapter, you will find in chapter 5, the same chapter, verse number 64, Allah will spread enmity and hatred between the Jews. So the Quran says, Shaitan he do spread enmity and hatred once in that chapter, Allah spread it twice. So you will find that the goal of Satan and the goal of Allah is in total agreement. Both they do the same act, spreading hatred. While Jesus was saying, and he said, love your enemy, forgive those who do bad to you. Actually, even, you know, uh, 
What is the most famous prayer we Christians we pray? I just remember something. What is the most famous prayer we Christian we pray? Somebody tell me. I know the sound take time to go to come to you. Hmm? There is a famous prayer we pray. Our Father out of heaven. If we go to our Father out of heaven and check the prayer, you will see right away there is a condition. And the condition is you have to forgive, right? You have to forgive. If you don't forgive, you don't receive forgiveness. When Jesus, he said to us, pray like this. And he gave us that amazing prayer. Can Allah give Muhammad a prayer equal to it or even better? Any Muslim can answer us? <clears throat> can Allah come with something equal or better? Like, do you have Muslims in your religion? Something better? If there's any Muslim, he can give us an answer. Please help us. Because a prayer of a religion present the, the religion. What I see that Muslim prayer is nothing but cursing, insulting, hateful, hatred, anger. Like now they are praying to Allah to destroy the Jews. And as always, they always do that. So while Jesus was teaching people to be good, to forgive to others, the Quran was speaking about revenge and killing. If we go here, Let's open this verse. All of Islam is about hatred and revenge. Allah will punish them by your hands, cover them with shame, and that victory will will heal the breast of the believers. How much hatred in their breast? And then if you go to the prayer of the Lord, which he taught us to pray, when he said, pray like this, you will see how amazing, how beautiful it is, how simple, how nice. The prayer of the Lord does not fit with the prayer of Allah. It does not, in every way, in every mean. However, actually, I remember that Muhammad, he wanted to be, uh, you know, Muhammad always is a thief. Muhammad always is a thief. So once Muhammad, he was asked how to be healed from illness. 
and he start quoting the same prayer which is our Lord he taught us which is proving again that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud and a scam if we ask the Muslims can we find the Lord the prayer in your books your prophet reciting it Vingo you want to answer me okay who's holding you Vingo you want to call me in Palto? If there is any Muslim would like to call me in Palto? If there is any Muslim would like to call me in Palto and answer me, as I heard some, I saw in the chat somebody saying he can answer me. I'm opening my Palto now to give you an opportunity to prove us wrong. All right, my pal talk now is open. If you are willing to talk to me, please don't uh, hesitate to text me immediately right now and I will call you. You cannot call me right away, you have to text me first. Just text me and I will be happy to call you. Tell me I'm a Muslim. Don't text me, say hello. Tell me I'm a Muslim, I'll talk to you. All right? Yeah, they can only answer me face to face. That's it. Face to face. So the prayer of Muhammad is nothing but evil. And when Muhammad he speak about the Dajjal, which is our topic, and we showed you how this person, he mentioned the Dajjal, which is supposed to be the false messiah. But yet he is so worried, and he's a prophet worry, that people will believe that the false messiah is their God, Allah. And the question always come to us. Why? Why the Muslim will think that the false messiah is Allah when the person is claiming to be the messiah? Please focus with me in the topic. Don't, you know, always when you want to ask me a question, when I say there's any question we are done, you can give me questions that have nothing to do with topic. Because I'm not against you to ask you questions, but in order to answer a question that have nothing to do with the topic, we have to stop and switch. Right? So just try to make your topic now, same my topic. When we are done, if we have, if we say who have a question, have nothing to do, we are done, you can give me your question. So I'm asking the Mohammedans, what is the reason for the Muslims to believe that the one who say, I am the Messiah, that he's Allah. He is not saying, I'm Allah. He's saying, I am the Messiah. That's why you call him the Messiah, the Dajjal. Unless you are saying that when he say, I am the Messiah, automatically he become Allah, your God. Any Muslim can help us? Anyone? Is a Dajjal is a false idea, false story made by Muhammad or it's something real? My pal talk is open. If you are a Muslim and you are serious, you want to talk to me, feel free. I'm willing to listen.
there is a Mohammedan in Pal Talk, but this is old one from yesterday. They call him a coward. Let us try to call him. No, he is not online. You know, they call me coward. They challenge me when I am not online. Okay. Protection, you are the Messiah. Well, you are not. I can prove it very easy. Here we go. I will give you a banning from my page. Well, can you come back? Protection. You just said you are the Messiah. If you are the Messiah, you do what the Messiah can do. I just blocked you in the chat. Come back if you can. You see, the real Messiah, they killed him. He come back even from the tomb. You strip at you. We just block you from the chat. You cannot come back. You remind me of Ahmad Mirza Ghulam. He claimed to be the Messiah. Second day, he found like 500 people in front of his house and they are wheelchair, the blind, the one who have no hand, the one who cannot see, the one who cannot talk, all kind of ill people. And they said to him, if you are the Messiah, here we go, show us. He closed the door and he went to his bedroom. He, you know, he, he stepped under the bed. Any Mohammedan can answer us? Why automatically, if some person claimed to be the Messiah and he can do miracles, amazing miracles, you automatically, you think he is God. When the person, his name is the false Messiah, why you guys are laughing? Show respect. Come on. Put yourself in his shoes. You know? Put yourself in his shoes. And if you are like bold, put yourself having the hair of uh, Sam Shamon. I'm just joking. You know, I love Sam Shamon. Very nice person. Any Muhammadan? So, is it possible that because Okay, so now if somebody says he's bold, is he automatically claiming to be Sam Shamoon? I mean, it doesn't make sense. So this guy at the jail, his name is the false messiah. So why in the world you Muslims will think that he's God? The, the heaven to, to reign and it will reign and he will give life to the dead and he will do some 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 extraordinary things stop but how he can do that is it the quran says only allah raises people from death is it the quran says who who you know who uh, bring people from death but allah so how this person the false messiah he can do that all right Mr. Ahmed, the one who texted me, add me to your list, maybe I can call you, because it's not working. Add me to your pal talk list, because sometimes your setting can be wrong. Any Muslim can tell us what is, this is a challenge to Allah. If only Allah, <coughs> can raise people from death and only by the permission of Allah anyone can raise people from death so how come this person he can do that without the permission of Allah does it say anywhere that Allah is the one who made this person able to do so any Muslim Even the story says that this person, he can cut a person to pieces and then he put him together. Any Muhammadan?
Who is the one wearing burqa? You see, the Muslims, all of them, they come with excuse saying we debate Christian prince only face to face. And I said to them, I don't go anywhere. I sit in my place, in my home, drinking my coffee. Here we go, it's my coffee. And you drink your camera urine and we can debate. What this challenge is about? This is an act of cowardness, avoiding what will happen after. A person who he trusts his God, that he have answer. There is no need to say face to face. I mean, here we go, we are talking. And not only that, here we can show reference, not like, like an over a table and you, you talk, I talk in philosophy. Anyone? What is your best coffee? I drink Greek coffee. That is the best coffee. You make very, you grind, you grind your coffee very, very fine, very fine. You know, not just extra, extra fine. It's very simple actually to make it. Heavy duty coffee. Once I have my neighbor, he said, let me try it. And then he called me uh, like around 2 a.m. Uh, you know, he's not told me actually. I was, you know, I stayed late, you know. So he saw my window and he said, Are you up? I said, Yeah, what's up? What's up? He said, You have no idea what you did to me. I can't sleep. <laughs> so, Muslims, drink your coffee and try to think about it. Why in the world this person he become a law in your, on your eyes? If a person he can create, or let's say, he can make a dead man come from the grave. And he is a false messiah, you believe he is Allah suddenly. So why you don't believe the true messiah is the true Allah then? Because this is the true messiah. Imagine this is stupid religion. There is stupid prophet come with a stupid idea that a false person who claimed to be the messiah, he is fake. And then he do miracles. And then because he do miracles, they will think he's Allah. But he's saying, I'm the Messiah. And as long you Muslim, you say that nobody can do such a thing like, you know, to give life except by the permission of Allah. Did Allah give the permission to the false Messiah to raise people from death? Who is a Muslim when I answer me? Anyone? If there is anybody? We don't use Skype, we're using Palto. Anyone? Let us see some of the miracle of the false messiah. Some of his miracle. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Hmm. Where is the Dajjal? Let us see the Dajjal. Uh, 
There we go. What the false messiah would do? Muslims. Anyone have an idea? Is it true that this person, he will order the rain to come down and the rain come down? He will order trees to come out, and trees will come out. But is it true it says that this is all happened by the will of Allah? Is that by the will of Allah? Any Muslim? Well, for some reason, Ahmad, it says you need to update. I don't know the update thing. I don't know what's wrong with the spell talk. Some people, their call go through. Some people, they don't go through. I'm not sure really. Any Muslim? Who is the one going to give the Dajjal the power? To the point he do what Allah do. And remember that the Dajjal is claiming to be the Messiah. And remember that your Muslim will think he's Allah. And remember he looked like a man. Yet remember that you will think he's Allah. Abu Bakr reported that the Prophet saying, the terror of a Dajjal, not the Antichrist, will not enter Medina at that day, and it will have seven gates. Muslims, at that time, the Medina will have seven gates? How many gates you have for Medina now? There's no gates. What gates? Your prophet prophesying in the future, because this will happen before Judgment Day, that when the Dajjal come, yeah, still not working. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. When the Dajjal will come, you know what, I will try to update my pato. But it says from his from their side it's need to be updated, not from my side. But I will just do it for the sake of maybe, you never know. Any Muslim? Let me delete my pal talk for a moment, install it again. <clears throat> Maybe the problem from my side, I'm not sure. You know, this stupid program. And if we use Skype, the problem with Skype is uh, there's no good control. If you, when I receive a call from somebody and the Muslim, they see that he is almost leaving Islam, right away they will start calling by hundreds to drop the call. Same time, I get like tens of thousands of text messages from people I don't know and saying, hello, how are you? Let me install it again.
Hmm. Come on. <clears throat> this program used to be the most perfect program actually for chatting. But I guess since there's too many competition these days. Hmm, okay. We're trying to I'm not sure we're taking too long time. I mean so so long. Anyway, I'm restoring my pal talk for now, but we will wait until it's ready. So do we have any Muslim have anything to say? You will notice that everything Muhammad he said about a Dajjal is a fiction. And why in the world this person will claim to be the Messiah don't claim to be Muhammad? And why the Messiah is coming back and not Muhammad coming back? And why the person who claimed to be the Messiah, he is going to do amazing miracle in order to, uh, like, I don't know what the word in English to say, like in, in person or what, other, what, what, what word would we say, like if somebody trying to be somebody else, to steal his identity, impersonate, I'm not sure, you know, my English is not good. Anyone? Why he chose the Messiah? Is that because when you choose the Messiah, you choose the most powerful person in the world, and that will make people believe that he is God? Why the Muhammad, he keeps saying, I seek refuge by Allah from the, the trouble of the false Messiah. Your prophet himself is terrified. Do you see it? And here, by the way, you notice that Muhammad is a false prophet again, because if he is seeking refuge from the trouble of the false messiah, and the false messiah did not happen after even 2,000 years, the one the Muslim waiting for, yet Muhammad was afraid from the false messiah in his time, in his lifetime. Do you see it? Impersonate? Yeah, impersonate, thank you. I, I know the word, but I don't know how to pronounce it. You know, sometimes like, I have, a, I have a very good English, by the way. They offer me to teach English in, uh, uh, in Stanford University, you know. But I said to them, you know, I am illiterate like Prophet Muhammad. And they said, no problem. No problem. Perfect. Because it's proven by science. Illiterate can be a teacher. Illiterate person, he can be the best. Always. Proven by science. And best example, Prophet Muhammad. Any Muslim? You come to the conclusion that my pal talk probably not working. Don't think about it too much, man. I just install it. And now we said that already. So Muslims, why Muhammad is afraid of the false messiah? Right? Well, you know, the, the, the Messiah, he uh, our Lord, he mentioned there's many false Messiah will come. He said, he will, you will see him, he said, they say he's here, he appeared there. He said, don't believe them, right? So we knew that. But this, but this Muhammad, he claimed there's only one false Messiah. And this false Messiah, 
the Muslims, when they see him, they will think he is Allah. You see, this is our topic. It's not just about the false messiah. This false messiah, he can do amazing miracles. He can cut a human being to pieces and put him together. And Muhammad is so paranoid about him. To the point he is afraid that the false messiah will come in his time. Was Muhammad a prophet? Muslim, they say yes. So how he keeps saying, I seek refuge from this and this and this, and he count the false messiah. Muhammad will be witnessing the trial of the false messiah. You see, I seek refugee. He did not say, I seek refugee for you. I seek refugee. Muhammad himself is paranoid. He is so afraid that the Messiah will come in his time. He was so paranoid about many things he said. As an example, the, the, the people of Gog and Magog. Once he woke up from the sleep and he says, we for you Arab, because the Gog and Magog, they open a hole like this and he made a hole in his hand using his fingers. Do we have any Muhammadan? Wanna say anything? Let me see if Paltok is ready to install. Okay, finally it's ready to install. Let's install it. We hope that this will fix it. You know, maybe because you guys, the one who's trying to call me or me, we are not saying inshallah. Because according to Muhammad, if you say inshallah, everything will be no problem. You remember the story of Solomon? He decided to have sex with 99 wives. And then he forgot to say inshallah. I mean, how in the world do you do that? So he had 99 wives in the bed. And now he is going to do cuckoo. He took off his pant and he started doing the job. And the purpose, of brother, is to make, brother, babies that will do jihad. Hmm? And then Allah, because he forgot to say, inshallah, after having sex with 99 women, Allah, he made him have half baby. Now the story about the numbers, every, every hadith give you different numbers. Some say 70, some they say 99, some, I mean, depend. You know, depend in, that, uh, in the mood of Muhammad. If he was saying that story in the morning or at night, Actually, we can search for the story. Hold on. I'm installing Pad Talk. Right? I'm reinstalling again. Just hold on. Here we go. Pad Talk is done. We will open it. Okay. So according to Muhammad's story, as you see in the screen, Muhammad said, not me. Abu Hurairah reported that the Prophet of Allah is saying the following. Suleiman, the son of David, uh, the apostle of Allah observed, I will have intercourse with 70 wives. You see the story here is 70. During the night, one night, all of them will give birth to a male child who will fight for the cause of Allah, so they will join Hamas. His companions, you know, his companions, let me open that talk, hold on. It asked me to give permission. All right. So his companions, they said to him, don't forget to say, inshallah. They told him.
But Suleiman, he did not say, inshallah. Big mistake. How you start using your penis without saying, inshallah. A good Muslim believer, he don't do that. Any truthful Muslim, he will never use his pistol without saying, inshallah. So this Suleiman, a'uzu billah, he start shooting 70 women in the bedroom and his target is good target for the cause of Allah but my friend even if it was for the cause of Allah you have to say inshallah before the intercourse so when his companion they said to him uh, you know uh, don't forget to say inshallah so but he forgot you know and none of his wives gave a birth to a child but one she gave birth to a premature child. Look at this madness. Yeah, still the same, my friend. Mr. Ahmed, the one trying to contact me, I don't know, I'm trying to call you, it's not working, my friend. Okay, let's see this person. Answer, Mr. Ayub. Mm, he's not answer. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't know. They said to me, call me. And when we call them, they don't answer. Somebody is asking, can you refute a Muslim about Jesus does not know the hour? Well, the answer for very for this very simple. You see, if you read the same chapter where Jesus said, only the Father know the hour. Uh, but Jesus, he said, when those things happened, I will come. So he knew the hour. But what Jesus is saying, the announcement of the hour is only for the Lord, your Father. The Lord, the Messiah, saying that my father your lord he will announce it and he is the one who make the decision but i am the one who do the judgment so in christianity the trinity is very simple the father he gave the son let us say we divide the responsibility i decide I announce my decision about the hour. You you do it. You know. Uh, let us see, Ahmed. Okay. Let us see, Ahmed, chat room. Hello. Hello? Are you there, Ahmed? Do you hear me, my friend? The problem in the chat room, we cannot speak at the same time. Just to let you know. You have to click at the microphone so you can talk to me. Go ahead. Are you there? Well, obviously, this is not working. Let us see Mr. Ayub again. Some subscription thing pops up. Can you call again? Yeah, it's free, it's free. Hello? 
हेलो हेलो यस मिस्टर यू आर लाइव ऑन एयर माय फ्रेंड व्हाट डू यू वांट टू से टू अस आई डोंट नो इफ यू वर लिसनिंग टू द टॉपिक डिड यू लिसन टू द टॉपिक वी आर लाइव ऑन एयर यस आई जस्ट जॉइंड इन ऑल राइट सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट द द जल स्टोरी व्हाट इज द स्टोरी why the muslim will think that the jal is allah when he come second time when he when he come at the end of the time no no muslims don't think that muslim don't think that who say okay i want you to listen no no look look let listen okay i'll explain to you yeah Okay before before Ooh. before you explain let us see let us make it clear okay. for you okay before you explain because we don't want to waste our time and your time you know my friend so listen to this video this okay. is your this is your brother he is a sheikh you know and he is explaining what will happen that you know people will think he is allah why because simply this person obviously he will do a lot of things and there's you know tons of videos in the internet you can watch them and even i can show you what your prophet said so let us see what this person will say the jail will come and play uh, pretend and claim to be Allah and he will command the, the heaven to, to rain and it will rain and he will give life to the dead and he will do some 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 extraordinary things uh, uh, did you hear it that the jail will come and he pretend to be Allah what do you say well it's uh, I have delay you did not hear the sound of the person no no wait Okay, hold on. I think I need to play on my phone. Oh no no no, it's okay, it's okay. I will I will I will make it work for you. Hold on. I think because uh, I'm using the microphone, my microphone, I have to unblock my. Uh, hmm. That will be a problem if I do that. Uh, let us see. Okay, you know what? Forget about this guy. Let me show you what your prophet said. Did your prophet say that? He's afraid that the Muslim will think he's Allah. Uh, I don't think so. No. All right. No, no. I will give you a hadith. You can open it in your side if you want, or you can see it in my screen if you want. Just to be sure to mute, uh, mute uh, pal talk so we don't have double voice. Uh, this hadith here in front of me, and I will post it for you. You can read it in your pal talk, and I will give you even the link. It says. That but I, you need to show me Sahih, yeah. Yeah, Sahih. Show me. Yeah, Facebook. yeah. This is you know. I know Islam is full of weak things, right? I mean, you are you are saying no, that, no, no, no. You, you need to show me from Sahih only. If you, if I, you don't show me Sahih, I don't want to see it. Okay. But this is weak. So what we would do now? Yeah, if it's weak, then so, I don't want to see. So, so what weak mean? What weak mean? What do you what do you mean by weak? What does that mean? If scholars say it's weak, then I don't accept. So what does that mean? But when you say the scholar say weak, what does that mean? If you show me hadith, you need to show me authentic. I understand. What we what weak mean? Don't show me authentic. Then I, I, I what, don't accept. But what weak mean? Is it mean like fabricated? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So you Muslims, you 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 write in your books lies about your prophet? No, we say that. You just no said, one say that. You just said it's fabricated. No, I say if it's not authentic, then it's fabricated. Okay, no, so who, but who? So who is the one who wrote this fabricated story in your book? Then isn't it you Muslims? Who is uh, who is Al Bukhari? Who is uh, uh, Mus uh, Muslim? Who is Ibn Majah? Who yeah, is... they are scholars. Huh? Okay, so why they are writing they are... those stories? You just said it's fabricated. Why are you Muslim? You write fabricated story about your prophet. No, but I say to you, if they are, they rate the. Have the, have it, so, but say? if it is if it's fabricated, why they are writing in, a, in, a, in their book a fabricated story? They should say this is garbage. We throw it away. We will write what is you know what, what the okay, point. Okay, listen. We say that. Okay, no, no problem. Listen. listen. Well, listen, listen. No, listen, listen. This yes. is this is a sahih hadith. The hadith I just showed mentioned to you is sahih. So let us stop playing the game of weak. I mean, I wanted to show the people anything. We show the Muslim right away. They say it's weak. Anything is they don't like, they call it weak. They don't even know what the hadith is about. Maybe they never even heard of it. Anything they don't like, they say weak. Just to throw it away. Okay. So listen. so now listen, listen. Wait, wait. So listen, listen. This is Sahih. So what we will do now? You're a prophet saying, I am afraid that you are going to be confused and think that the Dajjal is Allah. I say to you that the Dajjal is as the following. He described him that he is short. 
He is fat. He okay, is. Uh, huh? Show me the hadith. You. Uh, I give it to you. I, I give it to you in, oh. in Pal Talk. I give it to you in Pal Talk. You can read it there too. Wait, I need to share, see the hadith. Hmm. Okay, the Prophet said, I have told you so much about it. Well, yeah, this is a description of the Dajjal. Uh, the What's the problem with that? Exactly. But Muhammad saying the difference between him and Allah is just one eye. Yeah, no, I, no, you don't understand. See, the, the, what we think is that when the, the Antichrist comes back, that the Jews and the Christians, especially the uh, the Jews, because they believe in the Antichrist, ah. so they, they believe that it, it's God. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, but no, my friend, Muhammad is speaking to the believers, not to the Jews, not to the Christian, and the Jews don't believe in the Antichrist. No, the Jews, you don't understand. No, I understand. Read the, the hadith carefully. Muhammad is speaking to the Jew, to the Jews, or the Christians, or to the Muslims. He's speaking to the Muslims. So he said to them, I have, yeah. to, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the false messiah, and I'm afraid you might not understand that the Antichrist is short, hinted, uh, uh, woolly-haired, one-eyed, and eyesightless, and neither protruding nor deep-seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one-eyed. So okay. what he's afraid of him, that the Muslims are confused because Allah and the false messiah, they look exactly the same. So Muhammad now is giving no, you. No, it doesn't say that. What, it doesn't no, say that. Well, what do you mean? That it's in the front of you. Okay. What the difference between the false Messiah and the and mean, Allah, my friend? The Messiah is a human, correct? The false Messiah is a human. Yeah, yeah. The real Messiah, yeah. the real, the real Messiah, according to Islam, he is just a human. He is not God, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the false Messiah is claiming to be the Messiah. So why Muhammad? He is a, he's worried about you Muslim thinking that Allah is the false messiah when he's a yeah, man you don't understand. look 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 listen listen i will, I will explain, explain when okay. the false messiah comes back look look when the false messiah comes back yeah mm. he will deceive people and people will he will do miracles and people will believe he is god mm. because you believe but this is not a man is god but, but this is not my question it's not, you see the muslims are the one to believe him not us this is not us muhammad he's afraid that the muslims will follow him not us not not us yeah of course so so I, so I how muhammad okay how muhammad make you now able to recognize that this is not allah he said you should know that allah is not one eyed right so yeah. this guy have a problem he looked like allah exactly he's short he have curly hair he's neither portrayed it's in the allah. front it's in the front of you what is the okay what is the only what is the only okay how, how many eyes allah have it doesn't matter. No, it matters for me. I want to learn about Allah. I want to convert to Islam so I can get the 72 versions. What do you mean it doesn't matter? I want to no, see. No, I, don't want, I want to see how Allah he see me. Do Allah he see me if he turn his face? Or he yeah, see he me? Sees, he sees all okay, so you're a prophet saying he's not one eye. How many eyes do you have? I don't know. Maybe, maybe two, maybe five thousand. It doesn't matter. Well, that, he doesn't have one and well, if we he know have, if, if you have five thousand that will make him a spider or a bees you know but you see uh, the, you're, you, well, i'm not making fun you know your prophet says the only difference between the false messiah and allah is one eye okay do allah have a hand do allah have a hand my friend uh yeah yeah okay that's, yeah, true. Man, that's true how many hands do you have i don't know two hands and i can show you the hadith Will it say that? Okay, here we go. You go show fake hadith again? Or, uh... yeah, 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 yeah. You Muslims, you have a lot of fake stories, it look like, you know, because anything we show you say it's a fake no, story. No, you make a fake story, because last time you lied, uh, you lied. Ah, I lied. I remember, you lied. Ah, okay, I lied, okay. You lied about that. Yes, listen. Last time, because I want to ask you a question uh, after uh, okay. finish. Read with me. Because last time okay. you were right about Zakir Naik. Okay, you can ask me, you can tell me about the lies as much as you want. Here it says, it says, and his both his hand, he Allah, he have two hands, and both his hands, both his hands are right hands. So not only Allah have two hands. Where is it? It's in the hadith. In the hadith in front of me, it says that, and both his hands are right hands. So not only he have two hands, he have a birth defect. He is born with two hands in the right. 
I don't see the. Oh wait, miss. It's. I have delayed maybe on my screen. Wait. No problem. Is it the hadith? It is a hadith. Yes. <clears throat> Wait, uh, okay, I see it now. Okay, those who are just Google it, I also want to play. Those who are just in their rooms and the days of And both his hands are okay. Okay, so what's your point? You said to me, uh, I said, Allah have two hands. You no, said, no, no, I didn't say it's not true. I said, where is the evidence? I didn't say it's not true. Okay, okay so, no so, now, so now we are, we are forming a man. Allah have two eyes, Allah have two hands, Allah have two feet, Allah have two, uh, uh, two arms. So this is a man. And now the prophet saying, I am afraid that you will think that the false Messiah who is a man, you will think that he is Allah, you know? Why Muhammad? I explain to you. I explain to you. Listen, listen. I explain to you. People will think that because, for, for example, you believe that uh, Jesus God because he did miracles. For one example, huh. and a lot of people thought that about the prophets in the past. Hmm. So that's why what uh, the Antichrist come back. People like atheists and Jews okay. and Christians and even Muslims. No problem. The, listen, listen. I'm listening, my, listen, listen, my friend, listen. my friend, but your so, prophet, your prophet, he did not tell them you recognize him because he have bad miracle or he said the only difference no. between them is one eye. You should know that your God is not one I eye. Didn't say that, that's the only difference. He said that he said that okay. that. from, all the, from all the description, isn't it enough to tell them that he is short, etc. Why you are comparing him to Allah eyes? If he is short, just tell him he's a man. And that's it. People will know that he is a false man anyway. He's a man, he's not God. You know, as long as he's coming as a man, why are you going to be confused? Think he's, he's God. Because if a miracle, you must then you believe that God is not a man anyway. And if the guy is saying, I am the Messiah, he is saying, yeah. I am. That's why you call him the Messiah, the Dajjal. You say, I am the Messiah. So the man is saying to you, you are the Messiah. And you are a Muslim who believe the Messiah is a man anyway. So why you think that he will be Allah? Okay. Okay, so who is going to think that? Uh, uh, explain to me then the Muslims if you think I don't understand the Muslims will think that he is Allah wait let me read the hadith again because I don't think you understand I have told you so much about the real Antichrist that I'm afraid that you may not understand the Antichrist is short and tall will you add one eye and eyes and neither for truth you know deep see that Okay, so who is he? Is he speaking to his companions in this hadith? What do you think he's speaking to the Hindus? Well, I don't understand what you are. I don't. I just don't get your point because I already told you. My friend, your prophet. Who listen? Who listen to the teaching of your prophet? Who your prophet talking to? He's talking to his companion. Obviously, I don't believe in this madness. So this is wait for you, not for me. So your prophet is worried okay. that you will be confused. Do you see the word confused? Okay, if you are confused about him, him who? The false messiah. He's not, no, and no then, he's not only talking about, listen. Hello. Hmm. I'm listening. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, let, just let me finish, okay? Hmm. Okay, listen. I already explained to you, it's also about Muslims, but it is also about other people. So if the Messiah, that's how we, well, how I see it. If the Antichrist come back and he will do miracles, because it's also in other hadith that he will do miracles and people will follow him and people will see him as as, as God. Hmm. So also it's talking about that Jews and Christians, etc., will follow him, but it's also said that Muslims who are weak, uh, weak in their faith will also follow him. Hmm. So I just debunked you already with that. Because you said it's only about Muslims. Hmm. So what you got to say to that? I to, I told you it's in a lot of hadith. I don't well, remember you know, which, which one it is. But to be honest with you, with, well, you, okay. your answer so your answer remind me of a prophet Muhammad. There is a guy he is a blind. He come to his house, and then he said to his wives, <coughs> "Cover yourself, cover yourself." And then the women, they said to him, the wife of yeah, Muhammad, they said, hey, he's, but he said, they said to him, but he's blind. He cannot see us nor recognize us. He said, are you blind too? So I am saying the same to you. So now you are saying to me that this hadith 
is for everybody, not only for the Muslims. And yeah, there's some because okay, uh, okay, hold on, and then, and then the only way to prove that this false Messiah is false is he don't have Allah don't have one eye. What does it have to do with Allah have one eye or two? I told oh, you Muslims. You don't no, I understand. You, the answer is very simple. He don't have one eye. The only difference how we can know that this is not Allah. You should know that your Lord so is not one eye. Allah I'm not saying your prophet saying that the only way to find out if he is Allah or not, ask him to take off his sunglasses and look at his eyes and tell him, look me at the eye. Hey, look, no, no, look, 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 look here, look here. And if he have one eye, that's mean he is not Allah. You have two eyes and they are fine. This is Allah. That's what he's saying. I explained to you, but uh, okay, you know what? That's your interpretation. Okay, is there any? What is the interpretation for this? From okay, other people. Uh, there's no. Uh, there any, hold, hold, there hold. Okay, hold on. Uh, the, the, I will make it simple for you. The Messiah, the false okay, Messiah, yeah. he can uh, he can cut the person into two pieces and make him alive again. How he can do that? Well, the, by the power of God. Uh, so the false Messiah work for Allah. What? What are you talking about? You just say to me. Are I you say, talking about the false Messiah? Or I, just, I just say to you, I just say to you how the false Messiah can cut the pieces, a person two pieces, and he put him together again. You said that the power of God. Yeah, of course. Okay. How, how, how else? So Allah, He gave him the power to do so, correct? Well, yeah, of course. How else is it going okay. to do? We see another, so, but we don't believe in three. All like right, two. hold on. So, is that is the false Messiah a bad person or he's a good person doing the plan of Allah? I, I don't know if he's a bad person or a good person, but he's a deceiver. So, why you uh, okay? If he is a deceiver, but he is just working for Allah, so the real deceiver is Allah because Allah he sent him. No, 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 he doesn't work. Okay, no, let, no, he let, doesn't us, work let us go back to zero. Who is the one who he gave the shaitan. who is the one who gave the power to the false messiah to make people come back to life to command the rain command the ground even he can he can ask the ground to bring gold out and the and the gold and juries will come out so who is the one who gave him this power I want the answer yes Allah will give him the power Allah gave him the power so what's your point how does it make okay. Islam fall if I, okay this this bad person. He was, he's not exist now. Allah one day will create him and then he will give him the power and he will send him on us, correct? To do bad, correct? Okay, go on. I want to understand your point. So Allah is doing his best to deceive us, correct? Allah will send us a trick. No, no, that's not true. What do you mean no? That's no? not true. Okay, you, okay, let's go back to zero. That's not true. Okay, let's go back to zero. The, who, the, is the one, who is the one? Who is the one who gave the Listen, power? Who is the one who gave the power for this person? Like in Christianity, let, 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 me, let me help you. Let me help you. In Christianity, God created Satan, but He created him as an angel. So the power He gave him, He did not give him the power to be a Satan. He gave him power to be an angel. In Islam, the story is different. Okay, hold on, hold on. Here we have a person. We have a person. He right now doesn't exist. Later, Allah will create him. We do not know when. Maybe now. Who doesn't exist? Allah will create who, does not exist? who is the one who, who is going to create uh, this jail this jail who created him no no I, the jail he already exists what are you talking about he's already exists where no no it is in uh, another hadith that he's on an island he's what he's on a he's somewhere already ah. he's locked up Oh, he's locked up. Okay, who is I don't, I don't remember the hadith, uh, but okay. I'm sure it's, uh, it's attended. Yeah, I remember the hadith. That was a genie, as I know. But I know anyway. So let us say I will go with you. So the Dajjal is already okay. exist and he is locked up. Okay, who is the one who created the Dajjal? It's, uh, it's God. Okay, and who is the one who gave him the power to make those miracles? It's God. Okay. And God will let this Gizjal come and so what us. I don't know God is God is God because he gave him the power to do that. Your logic is flawed, bro. Honestly. Okay, you know what? I will change my logic. I will I will I will I will, uh, I will switch my logic upside down. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I will switch my logic upside down. That the Gizjal is locked up by who? 
I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Like you know he's irrelevant. You, you know he's in jail, but you don't know which jail and who is the one who, who arrested him. No, he's not in jail. He's just on an island by himself. Oh, an island! I wish, oh, man, I wish that is me. He's fishing yeah, there, right? Huh? Like an fishing island, the coconut tree. So he's an. You remind me of an angel. His name is Futros, which Allah he broke his wings and he sent him an island which is isolated because he commits sin. You know the story about Futros? No, I don't know. Where, where yeah. is that? Sorry. Yeah, maybe later we will talk about it. We'll leave Fatros alone because now I feel sorry for him. Allah, he broke his wings and he put him in this island and it's very hot there. There's a lot of coconut, by the way. It's how fun, but there's no beautiful girls there. So, yeah, so, so when you're a prophet, he said those oh. stories to you and you say to me that he is locked up in an island. Where are your prophet getting those stories from? What are you talking about? It's from, uh, from God. Allah told him that? Everything, listen, 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 because you you are a deceiver, Allah. Listen, I will tell you something, yeah? Hmm. Everything that the Prophet did, he did not by his own wisdom, he did by God's wisdom. He did what, he what, 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 what? Well, all these... What? What? Well, I don't understand what the Prophet said. I don't know. You say, I said to you, where are your Prophet getting his stories from? You said from God. Where in where God he said that to him? Can you show me the Quran in front of us? doesn't say anything of this. I, I, don't know, I don't know if it's in the Quran or the Hadith, but somewhere it says that everything the Prophet did, he did not by his own wisdom. Okay. Everything he did, God uh, okay. did. Okay. okay. I want to show you. you. You mentioned to me that the Dajjal is in an island, correct? Yeah. Is it true that the Dajjal was a pirate? What? He was a pirate of the Caribbean. Are you trying to make a joke? No, he, no, 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 I am not. I here we, here we go. I here we go. Hey, okay, here we go. Here we go. It says here that there's a story that at the Dajjal, he was sailing in a boat. He was sailing in a boat with 30 men. And they are from certain tribes. What are you talking about? Listen, listen. I will explain to you. Because what, what, you don't know where you're The, the hadith in the front. Listen. My friend, the, the hadith is in the front of me. Don't tell me what are you talking about. The Dajjal was sitting well, in the uh, This is uh, uh, in Sunan Ibn Dawood. And this is Sahih. So don't play the game of week yeah, again. But it's a long hadith. I don't see uh, Yeah, it says, it's a long hadith. It says Show Sahih. Hadith, hadith number 4326. Four, three, two, okay, six. Well, okay. It says here. Here okay, we go. Uh -huh. Okay, read it for me then. I, I don't see it. Okay, hold on. Give me a second, please. Go on. Because it's a long hadith. Yeah, it's a long hadith. You are right. I mean, I, everything Muhammad is says is very long. The only short is his logic. So here it says. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. His logic is short. They say Alhamdulillah. Wonderful. Okay. He says. Then, yeah, I didn't say that. I didn't say when, okay. What I was, you know what, what I was telling you about the Dajjal. Listen, listen. What I, I, I was I, I was telling you about the Dajjal. He told me that he sailed with thirty men of Lachem and uh, uh, Judam or Jadam, you know, and those are supposed to be people from like a tribes or etc. And then they were stormed and tossed for a month and they drew near an island when the sun was setting they sat in a boat nearest of them and they enter an island where they met by a very hairy beast look at this story how beautiful it is are you are you with me my friend there is a very hairy, where is this hairy beast i don't see that it's in hadith in front of you and remember you are the one who told me about yeah you my friend, isn't it you who told Maybe me about... Maybe I am behind. Maybe I am behind. Yeah, but you are the one who remind me, right? You said to me that he, he's an island, etc. This is the island story. So he yeah. uh, so he was in a boat, and then the, the boat, there is a storm. And then the storm, they throw them in an island, and inside there is a woman, but she is very hairy. Very hairy, you know? And then they said, we to you. They said, we to you. Uh, what can you be? Like, you know, she's so scary, man. I replied, I am a Jassasa. Do you know what a Jassasa is? I am the Jassasa. So, hmm. what does it mean? You don't know what a Jassasa? Does it mean I'm the Jassasa? Huh? Does it mean I'm the Jassasa? No, but the Jari discovered it. Now, the Jari is in a boat. The Jari is in a boat. 
and then the storm okay. took him to an island all right and then uh there in the okay, island so I, was right. I was right okay so is that a fiction story or real story why should why should it be fiction i i told you before that he was an island so if he went on a boat and they got an island that that fits in the story so it's no contradiction it, it fit with the story <laughs> yeah okay well let yeah. us let us get okay uh so this is this is uh this is the the, the jar he went to an island and then in the island he said to them yeah i am the messiah right okay okay so now you see we confirm that the messiahs exist he will not be created as you said you see i said maybe he will create it maybe he does not exist right but you said to me he exists and now i agree with you he exists where is the messiah now yes, what are you talking about you're talking to yourself i already explained to you before where you, 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 <laughs> did, you did not you, you did not give me anything as you see he's a free i got you busted he's a free Okay, so what is the problem with the story? So your prophet is a liar because if the Messiah is already exist in his time, and the Messiah is a free, yeah. this false Messiah, and he met with the Jassasa, but all of those are the signs of the Judgment Day. So Judgment Day must be happening in the time of Muhammad. So when I told you he's not created, he's not exist, I wanted you to tell me, no, he exists. So later you cannot deny it because Muslims, if we say to him he exists now, they will say, no, he's not exist. If I say he exists, they will say no. If I say he's not, they will say yes. And that's what I did. I, no, said, I, said, I said he exists. Yes, I exactly, exist. exactly. I said to no, you, I, I said to you, listen, I said to you, I he, he's not exist. He will be created later, maybe now, right? So I said, so I said maybe. And then right away, you voluntarily, thank you very much. You said, no, he exists and he's locked up in an island. Okay. So now the first Messiah is exist in the time of Muhammad. He will not come in the judgment day. Unless the judgment day was in the time of Muhammad. So yeah. Muhammad is a fraud. Because as you see, he came and he met with the Jassasa. Do you know who's a Jassasa? I, I don't know. I already told you I don't know. No, the, 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 I think... Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, go. In the Jassasa... Let me, let me explain. Jassasa is a beast. Exists in the Quran. If you go to chapter 27, verse number 82. Yeah, you, exactly. you, you must... must uh, yeah, yeah. So Al Jassasa is someone who will come in the judgment day. So how Muhammad he claim that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you are you getting what, what you what you did now? You just made your prophet a joke because you just said that you agreed that what this are you is, talking about? Okay, is is, is that Jassasa will come in the judgment day or no? Yeah. Okay. So what? But as you see at Jassasa, she met already with with the with the false messiah in the island. Okay, sh show me where Jassasa is uh, the beast from the Quran. Show me. Here we go, chapter 27, verse number 82. And when the word of torment, which means the judgment day, fulfilled against them, we shall bring out from the earth. We shall bring out from the earth. So she should be down in the earth, not on the top of the earth. And which will speak to them because of mankind believe not in what certainly in our Quran. So Allah in the judgment day, he will order the beast which, which is this woman with a lot of hair you know well, my friend take it easy are you okay, okay. are you okay no no i'm sick but uh, it doesn't matter well, with me. i hope you will be okay, fine so uh, where is the... okay so this beast will come from the okay. ground when in the judgment day correct Yeah, that's what I remember. Okay. Uh, that's so, it's in the that's it's the same. So okay. so how in the hadith says that the Jal he is already there and the Jassasa is there and they meet in an island. Yeah, but what does it say that uh, Jassasa I already told you where does it say that Jassasa is the beast from the Quran? Where does it say that? Yeah, here we go. Let us see. Let us go to the tafsir. I know, I know that in the Quran it says that uh, yeah, we go, we go no problem. We go to the tafsir, and because you know, if I say to you, it's you know, you will say to me, This is your opinion, etc. You know, so we don't want to do that. Okay, the, ch no, the chapter, about that. the chapter of the end, verse number two. Okay. Sorry, verse number uh, 82. So, what are you going to show me now? Okay, I will show you. Here we go. This is the tafsir about the beast will come from the ground, and this is in the judgment day. 
all right here it says this beast will emerge at the end of the time do you see it this is a big theory no, but I don't speak. Uh, I don't speak Arabic. I'm not showing you Arabic. I'm showing you English. Yeah, it's not in the screen. Okay, now you see it. Take your time. Are you going to translate or? Uh... Hmm. Because I cannot read Arabic. Are you going to translate? My friend, I'm not showing okay, you Arabic. So I'm I showing you English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I have delay, I told you. All right. So, a Jassasa, this beast, will come at the end of the time, not now, right? Who say this? Who say this? Uh, who, trans uh, who say this? The Quran. The Quran says, no, no, who is the commentator? Oh, what? Who is the commentator on this? Ah, this is Ibn Kathir. Okay. Huh. Okay, go on. Okay. So, this is, will be at the end of the time. Where this beast, who is a female, she have a lot of hair, and uh, you know, I mean, that's very good to have a lot of hair if you're a female. Can you zoom out? Can you zoom out? Huh? I want to read the full. Uh, I want to read the full commentary. Can you uh, zoom out? You are zoomed in. I can see. Okay, it. no, I would. I would do even better. I'm going to give you the link, and you open it from your side. Is that okay? Let me give you the link. Okay. I will give I'm it to you in your me. Skype. Here, well, here we go. Let's just see. This is the link. Open it in your site. This way, you, you will not be waiting for me to scroll down and go up, and you will be able to read it right away. Uh, so, what, where, where do I read? Because there's a lot of text. Do I read from the, everything? From the, the, from the beginning, it says the emerge, the emer, the emergence of the beast of of the earth. I'm I'm starting from there. It says this yeah. beast, this beast which will emerge at the end of the time when mankind become corrupt. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So the hadith, your prophet, he okay. said that uh, the false messiah he met with the Jassasa is a fraud, because she will emerge from down the ground. No, she I is not at the top that. of the ground yet. She will emerge from under the ground, from the earth. And she is a beast who live you under know, the I, ground. Huh? I, I know, I already, I told you, I know that. But I told, I asked you, huh? where does it say that, uh, what, what is the name that you said to me in the hadith? Just Sasa. The name you said from the hadith? Just Sasa. Yeah, wh where does it say, how do you know that means the... The beast. How do you know that? Every every Muslim he knew that. We, we can show you. Tons. Huh? Hey, we go. Let us let us go. No, I don't know that. You don't, I know, don't that. know that, my friend, because you because are. It doesn't say that. In the because, no, because because you are just a normal Abdul. You do not know. But this is the name which all Muslims they use, and your prophet he use. If I go right now to the Hadith, and then I search for the word just says, hmm. I just type the word just says, you will see tons <laughs> of stories, which you do not know about, obviously. Because you are an average Abdul, all of them they are saying. I just says, uh, here we go. Listen, listen. I want after I want to ask you also a question. Yes. Yes. Yeah, sure. uh, yeah. I want to ask you something from. Okay. Okay. Your Bibles. Uh huh. Uh -huh okay. You do not even know your book. You want to talk us talk us about what, why you want to jump and you run away from? Come on. No. I'm, no. Listen. Here we go. You see. Uh, okay. This, I need to say this is this is this is all this is this is all it's wait, a, wait, a story wait. about a Jassasa and a Jassasa she have. Uh, like she have a special description as you see and uh, let me show you the description of the sasa because i like it by the way uh, uh like she have ears like elephant you know uh let's see yeah, it says that just says a woman you go yeah. up go up yeah. oh you are a liar man i am a liar, liar bro. why i'm a liar why yeah, you are a liar. why why i'm a liar why if you go up it says that uh just as it's a woman, so you're a liar. I got you busted again. Okay, guys, you can be busted. So a Jassasa is a woman, correct? So you see, you agreed that a no. Jassasa, you agreed that a Jassasa is a woman. But when I told you a Jassasa is a woman, you said no. I am the one who told no, you that. No, you didn't say that. No, I am the one who told you she's a woman. No, 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 because... I said she is a woman no, and no, she's no, very... She is a woman and she's very hairy. I said that. Everybody heard me. It's recorded. People, they can't play the tape. And you said no. Who said that? You know? Okay, go now, back. So now, go back to the so now look go what happened. So now look what happened. You just agreed that the women, the Jassasa is a woman, but look at this uh, description of her. How a woman, she look, she have this description. Let us see together. Here we go. 
I want you to read with me and you have the page in the front of you and you know you agreed that it just says that she is a woman so we won't have a problem read with me it will strike the nose of this no, it believers. In the hadith. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the hadith. All of this is a hadith. All of this is coming from your prophet, your phony prophet. Look at this. He says, no, this is uh, "Okay, this is from it's the... also reported. Oh, it's also reported by Ibn Majah and Ibn Juraij. Reported and etc. Describe the beast. He said, its head like the head of a bull. Have you ever heard of a woman her head is of a bull? But your prophet, he says she is a woman according to you, correct? Now, and its eyes. I, I like the I eyes." Her head is a head of a bull. Her eyes is the eyes of a pig. Her ears are the ears of elephant. And her horns is like the horn of a stag. And her neck like the neck of a, of a uh, ostrich. And its chest like the chest of a lion. And its color like the color of a tiger. Oh, <laughs> and her hanches, its hanches like the hanches of a cat. And its tail like the tail of a ram. And its legs like the, 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 the legs of a camel. All of this. Is, do you think it's a zoo? All of this, and you said she is a woman. So your prophet is, a, is, a, is an idiot. How she is a woman, and she, no, has, she is a woman. hold on. You are the one who said to me no, no. she is a woman a second ago. How can this be a woman? This is an animal. But you are the one who told me this she's a woman, and you tell me I got you. You forget what you did. You said I. You no, said that. She, is a, she is a woman. I got you busted. You said that. No, no, no. How is this a woman? How? <laughs> you tell me. You are the one who said to me it's a woman. <laughs> and I agreed. <laughs> no, no. That's not possible. That's not possible. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> Now, this, okay, hold on, hold on. Do you, do you see the story here in front of <laughs> us? Do you, do, you, do you think your prophet is telling a real story or he is a, he's a crazy man? Be honest. Do you think really there's a woman? She have a horn, no, no, no. she have head of a bull, you're, you're a eyes of... Okay, I'm, I'm showing you in the screen. I'm showing you in the screen. How you call me a liar? I gave, and I gave you the link. It make a thief. I gave you the link. You are reading it with me. And this is your scar make a theater, and those are your companions reporting what your prophet said. And then I am the liar, and you said you said yourself, I got you busted, she's a woman. Everybody heard you. So I am the one no, who's no. I am the one who got busted by you, supposedly. And now we discover that this woman, according to your prophet, she have a head of a bull, she have eyes like eyes of a pig, she have ears like ears of an of an no, elephant. No, this is interpretation. This is interpretation. What interpretation? He Look described. No, read. It says he described the beast and he said, Describe the beast, not interpretation. As Zubair described the beast and he said, the What? <laughs> what you show me now is interpretation from a verse. Exactly. What are you talking so about? why the why the interpretation saying this? If it is not, it is. It, it is. Why why is it easy? Why the scholar? Why why your scholars and your prophet companion and your prophet? I'm talking right now. You can you want to hold your breath? You're lying. <laughs> you're a liar. You're a liar. Uh, okay, let me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Is it true that this Sasa is going to have the ring? Oh, wow. Is going to have the ring of Solomon and the stick of Moses and will make all the 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 Muslims white and all the Muslims black? It, is it going to make all Muslims yeah, white and all non-Muslim black? Is it true? What, what do you see in there? Is it this beast, her duty, Allah, he sent her for a job to do. She will hit you with the no, in your nose with the ring of Solomon or with the stick of Moses. And if she hit you, either if you are a believer, Allah will, the Jassasa, she will make you white. All Muslims, Jassasa will make them white. All non-Muslims will make them African because Islam is a racist cult. Do you agree with that or not? Oh my God. You are a liar. Okay. doesn't say that. Okay, read with me. I am a liar. Okay, get me busted. You have the website. Yeah. Read, read with me. Read with me. It says here. It says here. Here we go. Let us read. And it will bring with her. Because you. The, uh, 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 it, will bring, it, it, will, it will bring with her the staff of Musa and the ring of Suleiman. There will be no believer without making a white spot in his face, which will spread until all his face shining white. Do you see it? As a result. And there will be no disbeliever. Yeah, but what? Left without making a black a black spot in his face, which will spread until the face of the face is a black as a result. And you, are, you keep saying to me, "You're a liar." He will go in front of you. What kind of God he? What kind of God he says such a thing? So you, so you Muslims are racist. You claim that all bad people Allah will make them black, and all good people Allah will make them white. So all the people will go this to is, heaven. This is not. This is what. Listen, listen. 
No, no, this is not about uh, skin color. This is because it's about white white explain. Okay, I'm, I'm listening. Okay, I'm listening now. I'm, I'm, it's not guys. It's not about skin color. Explain to us. It says that the, if you are not a Muslim, it's going to hit yeah. you, and a black spot will be in your skin first, and then it's going to extend, 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 extend until we became all of you. We became black. Explain that to me. Go ahead. Listen, I told you already. This white and black in this context uh -huh. is not about skin color. No problem. Tell me about this what because I'm, we I'm, also. Okay, I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm listening. Explain, Listen. to, explain to me. I'm listening. You know, let me finish. You know what Noor uh, means, right? Ah, uh, Noor. I know what Noor. What is Noor? Yeah, Noor. That's like the light. Somewhere, uh, if yeah. you're a good believer. Yeah, I have a flashlight. Okay, what about it? Yes, that's what we mean. That's what we mean with, with uh, in this context because it says shining white. It doesn't say white. You're a liar again. Ah, not only white. You are shiny. So you're extreme white. Uh, you, you, you will be extreme white, right? Clever. What? No, no, it doesn't say that. Well, it's, it's just shining, shining. Okay, shining. Okay. okay, what about the black? Like a diamond. Well, okay, what about the black? What about shining, the black? Right? You see, now you want to hide behind the shiny. Okay, let us see. It says here that it's going to make a black spot in his face, which will spread until his face is black. As a result, there's no shiny here. Can you hide behind shiny now? In the first one, you hide behind no, shiny. black is dark. Huh? There's no shiny here. Here we go. Shiny, there's no shiny. The goat ate the shiny. No. <laughs> what? Listen, listen. Is it going to make his yeah. face black? Does it, does it say shiny what? black or it says black? So the Muslim not only will be white, will be shiny white, which means extremely white, but the black will be very black. So your God is a racist. No, that... Claiming that everyone who is bad mm -hmm. Allah will make him mm -hmm. black and everyone who is good believe in him Allah will make him white the proof in the front of you I told you and by the way by the way I, I don't know I don't know your name is Ayub right Ayub listen I am not against this by the way I wish Allah will make me black because finally I will get a girlfriend it's my dream I will oh, become a black right. second day a girlfriend will, will, will like me Right now, nobody like doing? me. Women, they hate me. So, I'm, so now, I have, uh, for me, I, I have no problem if Allah make me black. Being a black is not an insult to me. I would love to be black. I would love to be Asian. I would love to be Filipino. I would love to be Indonesian. I would love to be African. I don't care. A human is a human. We are equal. Nobody is better than anyone. You are bad when you are do bad, and you are ugly when you are doing ugly. So your God, your God is a very filthy God. And those are all fiction stories from your fiction prophet to your fiction religion. How this listen, listen, even if you are black, you don't get a girlfriend. How you get a girlfriend you're in your basement all day, every day? That's my first thing. Exactly. My second thing. Exactly. Is, see how I'm going to get a girlfriend and sit in front of my computer. See, so because I love God, for I love God, I don't care about girlfriend. I was joking with you, you idiot. It is you who worship Allah for the sake of your penis. You do, you do jihad, you do jihad to get what versions. You do jihad to get version, you get jihad to do to be white, you do jihad so Allah will give you is it true that your prophet he says you will have you will have 70 years orgasm? What kind of religion teach you that if you have sex in heaven? Huh? Listen, listen. I'm going to explain to you. Explain to me what he will go listening. Okay, why I'm Allah? Listening. Why Allah will make the person I'm who don't believe? Okay, I'm listening. Why I'm Allah? Angry? Why Allah will make the person who don't yeah. believe in him a pure black? Go ahead. No, listen. Uh, I will explain to you both. Hmm. You see, shining white is what I said before about the nur. That's the, if you shine. Right. So what no, you, you will be yes, you will be the made of light. No, when he says a shiny, you know, shiny white, it means shiny, oh, so, shiny snow. This is what snow is is reflecting the the, the but it's so white. Okay, listen, listen. It doesn't say that. Okay, the, 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 okay, okay, okay. The, when you God, He promised you those little boys in heaven. Are they black or white? They are green. They are green. Okay, let me finish now. Uh, they are great. Listen, listen. Let me. You, you are making. What is the problem with you? you or they are. You are making. They are pink. Maybe you, are, they are pink. you are making fun of Allah now. Okay, that's one. Here we go. It says here they are white. Oh. They are like white, very white, hiding yes, pearls. Because you don't me. My friend, chapter thirty-seven. Oh, oh. Chapter thirty-seven. They are white pearls. Extreme white pearls. Read it. So this is your Quran. And this is your Islamic translation, funny translation. 
huh? so they are extremely white like pearls like white eggs yeah so what so pearls have no skin color. What are you talking about? What do you mean they have no skin color? Ah, the women they have no skin color. No, the women they have a skin color in the heaven. Your prophet he says he they will be so white to the point they are transparent because when a person is extremely white, you can see the blood under his skin. You can see the the vein under his skin. So your prophet because because he's your prophet because he, your prophet because he is obsessed. He is obsessed. He is obsessed with white color. So what he do? He promise you that. No, you're obsessed with black color. Okay, let us see. I, I, I saw what's wrong with the black color. I, you know, black people are beautiful people. I love them. All my neighbors, most of my neighbors are black. They are wonderful. I, I love them all. I have a woman. She is like eight years old. I go check on her almost mm -hmm. every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. I go and check on her to see mm -hmm. if she needs anything. So listen, listen. listen. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. Is it, is it true? Is it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it true that your prophet, he promised you women, they are so white to the point you can see through the marrow of their bones? I don't know. I know. You Why don't, are you asking me this? You don't know. I know because we are talking about this topic. Here we go. You're a prophet. He said that I swear by Allah that each one of you will have etc. You know, a reward. And then he said they are so beautiful, pure, transparent. The mirror of their bones of their legs will be seen through, and the bones and the flesh. Okay. So. Why? Why they are transparent? Why they are not? Why? Why they are not normal black women? Why is? Why there's no black women to promise for Muslim men in heaven? Why all of them they have to be white? Transparent is not white. No, they transparent are, is not white. No, tra ever, no, transparent is. They are. They are so white to the point you can see through. What? What are you talking about? Okay, I want you. Transparent is not white. Okay, okay. listen, listen, listen. Is, is that a beautiful image? The woman he is promising you now to have a transparent woman, you can see the bones. Yeah, of course, it's beautiful. Of course. Okay, let us see how beautiful. it looks like. Okay, this is very beautiful. Here we go. So this is this is one of uh, 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 Mr. Ayub wives, and she is very beautiful. Here we go. You see how beautiful she is. So you are saying to me that your God, He will promise okay. you, your God, He will promise you a bunch of bones, you know. And according to you, this is very sexy. This is very sexy and this is very beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know what to say to you, my so friend. What? Yeah, this is very beautiful. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I don't know. Do you see anything wrong? Yeah, I like it. This is so There's beautiful. There's something different there. Look at those. Look at those possession, brother. Unbelievable. Oh, look at this. Yeah, so, look at so the, the, look at the, the point oh. the, the point is that obviously all the stories your prophet he said is a cartoon. Maybe you need Oh, but I'm and just says uh, a woman she have a lot of hair she have a big eyes she have a horn she have elephant ears oh. she have a chest of a, of, of a cat she have a tail of a tiger like what, what the heck is this so and this is not metaphorical by the way. I can take it if I can take it if it's a metaphorical if it is about metaphorical but you're a prophet you're a prophet is a you're a prophet is a thief he took a story from the book of Revelation about a bee about a beast so you're a prophet you, you Muslims are very funny. You steal stories from other books, and then you add, you add your own spices to it. So listen, listen, listen. So are you are you are you convinced? Are you convinced? Be me on. Be honest with me. That the story about the mess, the false Messiah taking a boat and going in a ship is a true story. I explained to you. you I explained to you. No, what's wrong with you? No, you did not. Is it a true story? I want you to tell me. When this guy he took a boat and he go and he met the beast. In the island, is this is a true story? Yeah, it's true. Maybe it is true. What is the proof of this story? Listen, you didn't even show me if it's a uh, if it's authentic hadith. You didn't even show me. So what if it's not authentic now? So it's not authentic. But tomorrow is going to be authentic. Just wait until tomorrow. Okay, so not true. So it's not authentic. Simple. Okay, here we go. It's authentic then. I just changed. Oh, you it said that. You no, said that. I said to you, it's not authentic. No, tomorrow that. I will make it authentic. Tomorrow came so fast. Here we go. It became authentic. It says Sahih al Albani. No, 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 no. Authentic, not authentic. It's authentic. Read it. It says Sunan Abi Dawood four three two six. Authentic. Everybody can read it. It says Sahih. Yes, sir. Listen. You showed me like. 
You already showed me like five hadiths. No, no, you no, showed me one. I showed you that, that, that. This one, no, this one. I, I'm asking you about the one. I just asked you about the one in the. In the I just asked you about the one in the boat. This is the one in the boat. I told you he's a pirate. Yeah, sure. Okay, and he met a Jassasa, and you said I don't know if it's uh, is it authentic. So it is authentic. So it's a true story that a the jail is a free and is okay. going around. So what is he? If he is, if he is, if he is a free, if he is a free, if he is exist, if he, okay, if he is exist, this is the question, and then you can explain. If he is exist in the time of Muhammad, okay, and Muhammad he said that this is happening in his time, okay. Where is uh, 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 where is this guy now? Where is this beast too? Go ahead. What happened? What, what do you mean? You mean this uh, story? No, as long as he is a free, is the guy is a pirate. He have a boat. He go from island to island. As you see, he met with a Jassasa, perfect team. She is a beast. He is a false messiah. Both of them, they are very powerful. She have the the, the ring of Solomon and she have the stick of Musa. She got all the the magic of the Lord of the Ring. So now, by having have having this happen, no. what happened to those two? Why they are not here? Why we don't see them? Do you think they have? Connection with the Trump? Which two? Which two? The Jassasa and, and the beast, the Jassasa and, uh, and the the Antichrist, the false messiah. Do you think like Trump, he hide them? Or do, okay. they, do you think Obama is involved in this? Or maybe Sarkozy? Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, or, 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 Yasser Ara, or Yasser Arafat? Or what do you think is happening, brother? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe Hamas, they got him locked? Listen, listen. What, what is this? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Listen. Huh? What? I'm I will explain. I will okay, I'm listening. You know, uh, you know, uh, Okay, listen, okay, mm. finally, no. because you talk a lot of uh, stupid things. Uh -huh. You know, you know the uh, Google Magog, right? Yeah, I know Google Magog. I, 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 they actually, we are friends. We, I'm we go to the party together. To, what, what listen, is... I'm not going to switch the subject. I'm not going to, I'm giving you example. You know, Google Magog, uh, it is, they are hiding, right? They are hiding? Where? Well, I, you know, CP, let's just continue. You know what I'm talking we about. We are continuing. No, 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 you have to tell no, me. You, you said they are hiding. I'm asking you where they are hiding. I don't know where. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? But uh, just agree with me so I can uh, go on, yes? So like, but okay, they are hiding where? Are they hiding underground? Oh, and, my God. Are, yeah, are yeah. they hiding underground in the yeah, top they, of the ground? Are they under the ground or in the top no, of the ground? Uh, no, no. I think they are uh, they are on the ground. I think in the ground, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the Quran says that he brought he built the dam between two mountains. Have you ever heard mountains under the ground? So this is Alexander the Great. He found. Oh, yeah, he true. found. That's uh, no, so, no, 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 okay, so, that's true. That's true. Okay, so I agree. Mean, that's wonderful. You agree. So now it's above no, the ground. No, no. Okay, how come we cannot find them? So oh, Alexander the Great he built he, he built a dam. I will, I'm letting you finish. I will see. I, I like you, my friend. Actually, I'm going no, to make you. I will make you. I will make you an admin in my chat room when we are not live. From now on, when we are not live, you're an admin. I promise you. Now, listen. So the dam is built and between oh. two between two mountains, and now they are behind the mountain. Why we cannot find them? Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, I don't know why we can't find them. Uh, because it's uh, it's uh, a sign. It's not yet happened. So. It's a sign for the the last hour. How come Zul? So it's not. But how? Happen. Okay. But how come Zul Qurnayn he found them? <coughs> is Zul Qurnayn is a man, a human like us, or is not? Zul Qurnayn, he is the one who's talking. You know, the, the, Zul Qurnayn, the, the guy with the two yeah, horns. he's also yeah, but he's not normal. He's he's also in the Quran. If I uh, don't. Uh, yeah, he's in the Quran. We are showing you the verse. Uh, yes, this is the guy who he found where the sun set. He found it set in murky water, which is true. Oh, I know you're going to say that. No, 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 no. We, so we will not go there now. So they, he came to those people. He told them those people are attacking us, and they are like not a human. And now, so and now you need to build. You need to build for us a dam. So he built the dam. Okay. So the dam is in the top of the ground. How come we cannot find them? Especially your prophet. He says one thousand from you. Your prophet he says their number is one thousand from them, one from us. Which means if we are seven billions, they have to be seven trillions. So how come we cannot find them? Maybe they are very small. How you know? So why they are afraid of them if they are so small? Maybe. Who is afraid? 
those people they ask they ask Zul Kurnain, the guy with the two horns please protect us build the dam between us and them they are doing mischievement and your prophet claimed that all of them they are scary they will they will swarm the earth and not only that they will attack the earth and they will attack even the yeah, city they will come to the city of Medina and Mecca and then they will they will uh, they will use their uh, their arrow correct but, but what you're saying no, listen listen let me let me just I I got a headache because I don't want to uh, scream over you and mm. shout over you mm. listen let me explain to you something mm. what you're saying about where we can find it also remember we switch now to to a subject because you didn't let me finish but I will go you're the, the reason one. why we can it doesn't listen you are the one who mentioned to me. You are the you are the one who mentioned to me go and Mago. You are the one who mentioned go. Yeah, example. The example is horrible. So you you switch you switch you turn off the light and you say why it's dark. You turn off the light and you say why it's dark. What's wrong with you? Come on, Abdul. So now those Gog and Mago they are hiding. But you're a prophet. Listen, you're a prophet in his time. He says you're a prophet. You're a prophet. He says in his time. The wall, the wall, the barrier of Gog and Magog has been opened so much, so much. He is so terrified in his time. Actually, so, no. so, so Gog and Magog, how, okay. Actually, so how know. Muhammad was able to know that the, the whole of Gog and Magog is open? Because he heard it from Allah. Okay. Are they out or not yet? Okay, listen, because I remember also a hadith that says... Uh, that they are on the ground also so maybe this is just for a specific time. yeah i agree with you the quran because, say my friend the quran says allah he created seven earth right uh yeah so what okay so every earth have a level of a every 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 earth every earth have a level of a creatures correct I don't know about that. Maybe. What do you mean? I know that it's a seven earth, but I don't know. I I remember a hadith that says uh, that they are uh, digging up uh, until they are on earth. Okay. Where we are right now. All right. And, uh, so so. And every time they try to dig up. <coughs> All right. Listen, listen. Every oh, time oh, they try to oh, dig oh, up, uh -huh. they, they they will say we are close, and then because they didn't say. Uh, God, uh, inshallah, inshallah, we will get there every time they will uh, not get there. You know the hadith, right? I know for sure. I know the hadith, absolutely. You know. So, so you are saying to me so, now, I so, think okay, so you, okay. Are saying, so you are uh, saying, right. so you are saying to me, if you say inshallah, you can accomplish your mission, correct? No, this is about the, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying in this specific uh, moment. What moment? In this in, in the Quran, I think because the problem with you is you take things out of context. Because if there is something in the Quran that says about fighting, for for example, it says something about uh, I saw some something about you. You said in the Quran says you can crucify someone's hands, but it doesn't say that. It it says that about a specific uh, time when Moses uh, was alive. But it was about the story that you can't read right there because you are you are, you are deceiver. Oh, okay. What if I show you now? It says you can crucify people. That's how you read. What if I show you now that you can crucify no, them? No, but it was about a specific. No, it's it was about, about a specific time when no, uh, Moses was. Uh, no, alive. no. Here we go. Chapter five, verse number thirty-three. I got you busted. Here we go. Read it. You read out of context. I'm not reading. Here we go. We can open the book of and this is the Quran in front of you. I'm, I'm not talking about Tidhan Kathir. I'm talking about the Quran too. And the, why Ibn Kathir will agree with me, not agree with you? So if this was for mischief, did, did, did your prophet, did your, okay, did your prophet crucify people? No. Okay. Let us see. He never killed people. So okay. Let, let, us, let us see if this is true or not. Here we go. You are actually you. You have made these people, these brainwashed Abdul, people, in your Abdul. You read, too, okay, read you, with me. Listen, listen, read, read, read with me. Read, 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 read with me. Read with me. He put nails in their eyes. He cut their hands and he cut their feet. Here we go. This is what they do in the crucifixion. This is why ISIS did do it. 
Read it. He put, no, but you didn't take the whole chapter. Uh, here we go. I'm read the whole chapter. He did put nails in I their did, eyes. Listen, listen. He, he did. He put nails in their eyes. He blinded them. And the, 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 this is exactly what the Quran is saying: that those who do mischief in the earth, you cut their hands, you cut their feet, you cut their etc. And you crucify them. And, oh, and Muhammad so and Muhammad added. And people, they are look. They are back. They they beg for water. They are dying on the cross. Look at this. He gave their eyes. This is your prophet. This is the this is the mercy of the prophet. The Muslim they say to us, the prophet was merciful. He put people in the cross. He cut their hands. The, the, the Roman is way more nicer. At least those people they put you in the cross. They don't do this. Muhammad he cut their hands. He cut their 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 feet, and then he put nails. He put it in fire, and he put it in their eyes. How do you say that Romans crucified your God, man God? So how do you say they are nicer? So, okay, I'm saying they are nicer because simply the crucifixion is way nicer than this. This is this is way they more. Killed, they killed your God. No, no, no. Hold on. You see the Roman. Okay, so the Roman. You think killing the, God is so, nice don't, 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 don't be a fool. I'm saying nicer as a way of killing, which means the, the way of killing is ugly anyway. But your prophet is way more ugly than even see, the Roman killing. Happened, so you're a prophet. You're a prophet. You're a prophet. You're a prophet uh, enjoy mm -hmm. your prophet enjoy torturing and you lie to me saying that the prophet and Islam don't teach crucifixion your prophet and your God he is learning from this the Roman this is the punishment of the Roman this is the pagan practice why Muhammad is using the pagan practice as punishment okay so you're not going to answer me I did answer you. You said to me, I lied about the crucifixion. I said, no, the Quran confirmed the crucifixion. And I said to you, we can go right now and read the interpretation. No, no. Okay. So, no. Okay, let us go. Listen, let us go and I read the interpretation. No, I'm not here of context, uh, potato. Let me go to the, to the interpretation, can we? I can go right now to the interpretation. Everybody either will laugh at me or at you. Chapter 5, verse number 33. Is it this is for the Jews or this is for the Muslims? We will see in a second. Here we go. We go to the tafsir. Don't, don't jump, don't jump. Oh, no, 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 we don't listen, jump. Listen, no, don't no, jump. no. When you say something, when you say something to me, hey, hey, listen, I, listen, I, listen, I, I, no, noisy, 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 no, noisy, noisy. I, I have to get you, but I know, noisy, I have to get you, but chapter five, verse number thirty-three. Chapter five, chapter five, verse number three. Why you don't want to read it? You said you want to get me. You said you want to get me busted. You said you said this is for the Jews, not for the Muslims. Did you just what you said? CP, don't shout. Read with me. Here we go. It says, okay, okay. The following, the following verse was revealed by Adam when they came to the Medina and etc. And then, as somebody suffered from illness, he told them to I'm go, go, to go and to go and go and drink the camel urine and, 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 and milk. So, okay, the, the prophet here, who cares if you meet me or not? Get hang up, go, go, who care? Potato. So when you say I'm lying, you are the liar. Go and drink the camel urine, Dr. Muhammad, camel urine in prescription. You see it in front of you. And then they say that story says that they, they gave their animals to the to the uh, to Muhammad, and then they want to get their animals back. The Muslim they say no, they are stealing. Doesn't matter what the story is. So they came to the shepherd, they killed the shepherd, and they ran away. And then Muhammad he sent his army after them. And he brought them and he crucified them. And this is what the verse is about. So when you are saying this is for the Jews and you are supposed to mean I'm, li I'm lying, that is a, your stupidity. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. You can see Ibn Abbas. You can see Ibn Kathir. You can see whatever you want. You are just a stupid kid who try his best to defend his prophet. But at least you are more brave than those who have a beard. You see, because those are kids and nobody count what they say, they can call me. But the one who have a career, he will never do that because that that will end his career. Are you going to mute me now? Okay. Okay. So is it about is it about the Muslims or about the Jews? You lie. You say this is about the Jews. Is it about the Jews or about okay. the Muslims? Okay, okay, let me just say one thing, yes? Is it I'm about the Jews? Serious. No, you have to, you have, because you accuse me of lying. You, 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 you have to apologize before you continue. I, here we go, I have it in the front of you on the screen. Is this is a verse was given to the Jews or given to the Muslims to, be, to crucify people? 
I don't see it yet. I just gave you it's chapter 5 verse number 33 and you can read the interpretation open any one of them I have now Ibn Abbas in front of me I can open Ibn Kathir I just opened already Jalalain all of them they say this is about crucifixion for those who do mischievous and revealed to the message of Allah revealed to the message of Allah in the city of Medina I don't uh, it's not on my screen it's not on my screen I will give you even Let's the name I will give you I will give you I will give you I will give you the link. I will give you the link. Here we go. Shall I give you the link? Wallahi. Wallahi. Please, let me just say one thing. Well, wallahi, what wallahi? One thing, okay? What wallahi mean? Okay, please. What wallahi mean? Because you woke up my, no, for... woke up my parents. No, no. Because you were shouting. Please just don't shout, okay? Because I also can't shout friend, now. Because use, use the headphone. The... Don't you have a headphone? I don't have a headphone. You have money for me because you have a lot of money because of Patreon. Ah, I have a lot of money. Okay, my friend, let us ask. Is it okay to ask people to go to give money and go to heaven? Like the scam Muhammad? I don't I don't ask people to. Hey, guys, since I come here, did I say to anyone, go and make donation? Anyone heard me saying, hey, guys, go and make donation? I don't. I go live on air. I, I, okay. I, I, I finish my broadcast. I say nothing. If people they go, if, okay, no, 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 you see, hold on, you open a topic, it's very important, because the one who is the one who asks people to go and give money so they can go to heaven is your prophet. I don't promise people heaven, and I don't talk about it. I go no, live, that's, my, that's serv fair. my service is for free, I give my books for free, so if somebody okay, would help me because I am okay, helping them, I know. no, 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 hold on, you, you, you said, oh. you, now you know, a second ago you do not know, you said you are doing it because you have money, listen, so what kind of God, he asked, you don't get money? What kind? You what, don't get money. What, I don't ask for money. I don't ask them for money. I don't beg them for money. I it's your, it's, your, it's your, your prophet who claimed. It's your prophet he claimed that, that my teaching is for free. Your prophet is teaching is not for free. Is the teaching it of, is for free. Okay, hold on. Free. Okay, here we go. Guys, the teaching of the prophet is for free. You want to challenge me? It is for free. Do you want to challenge me? I can I can go to a mosque and get the Quran for free. So uh, because he, uh, no, he's dead now. When he was there, you don't get it for free. So I'm asking you now. I do. I do. I'm asking you in the time. Of, in the time of Muhammad, was it for free or you have to pay? Why are you talking about the time? I'm talking about. Uh, oh, I'm so talking you, about so you are saying? Oh, free. you are saying Muslims today are better than Muhammad. So now it's for free in the time of Muhammad, is not? I didn't say that. Okay, I'm asking you in the time of Muhammad, was it for free? You said. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying in the time of Muhammad, I lost my voice, really. My, 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 my voice is getting okay, tired. Go, okay, go, go. okay. So, okay, go, go. Is it for free when your prophet, if you want to meet your prophet in a private consultation, let us say you came to the prophet and you said to him, uh, I, I want to talk to you. <coughs> is it for free? <coughs> It's uh, his teachings are for free, yes. Yes. I just asked you the question. Let me repeat the question. If I come to Muhammad, you ask me if it's for free. Yes, I come to Muhammad. I want a private consultation. Is it for free or I have to pay? Private consultation? Hmm. You're talking about appointment or something? No, I come to his house. I come to his house. It's mean I'm not speaking to everybody. I came to his house. I say, Prophet, can I talk to you? Is it for free to talk to him? I, I do, it depends. You mean on uh, Islam? In the time of Muhammad, if a guy he come to Muhammad to talk to him, is it for free? It depends. It ah, depends on what you want to talk about. Depends. Because, what? because you were a businessman. What? You was a businessman. To talk to him about Islam, to talk about Islam. So, uh, so agree. Muhammad is a businessman. Islam, Islam is a business. What is his business now? He's working full time as a prophet. What business? So, a man will talk to him. Uh, can can, he, can he? Can he? Okay. I want to come and ask him a question about Islam. Should I pay to ask him the question, or he would ask me for free? No, it's not. It's not uh, forced to pay. But if you want to give a donation, it's no problem. Ah, okay, read with me. Oh, who you believe? Read with me, read with me, read with me, read with me, read, read with me about your private scam. Oh, who you believe when you cancel the messenger in private, spend something in charity before your private consultation. Let us compare between me yeah. and your prophet. Did no you, problem. did I say to you, go and make donation to talk to me? No. Did I say to any of those people, go and make donation in order to hear me? No. Did I say you will not be able to... Where is this for? Where is this for? I don't see it. Cha it. Chapter 58, verse number... Something in 
Chapter Can 58, I, verse number 12. Wait, wait, I see it, I see it. Hmm? Wait, wait, come on. Yeah, Muhammad doing business. You want to talk to the Prophet, you have to talk to, you have to pay him. Yeah, but this is, yeah, but come on, CP, this, it, it says clearly charity. It, uh, for, for sure it's charity. About, uh, for sure it's a charity, my friend. It's a charity. You are giving Muhammad everything is there, giving Muhammad a charity because Allah will reward you, brother. But it's going no, no, to the, but it's going to the, the it's, it's going to go to who? You see, okay. Listen, why I cannot what if I am not even a Muslim? How I can talk to him? You will not be able unless you pay something. You have to do something. Okay? Why so, do you want to talk to him? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus I want, want to ask him because Muhammad, he came to the non-Muslims so he can convert them to Islam. When he came, there's nobody who believe in him. So how come now he will not talk to you? Because yeah. now he became famous. He have, he's, a, he's on YouTube now. He has a big channel. He called himself his channel Mimi, 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 Boo Boo Shake, you know. And now you cannot talk to me unless you, uh, you know, you want to watch my video, you have to do pay subscription. This is false. This is a fraud. No, but you okay. Know, this is not an you, act. This is not right, an act of a prophet. My videos are totally for free. No, no, you lie. And, and not only for free. Not only for free. I'm showing you the verse in the front of you. I'm lying. No, but you. you okay, listen, 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 okay, hold on, hold on. If uh, if if you with the prophet, if you, are, if you are with the prophet was, now, if, if you are if you are with the prophet and you are attacking Jerusalem with Hamas, and now you attack a house of a Jew, is it true that the prophet will get the big TV? He will do what? He will get the biggest TV in the house. No, of course he's not. You acting like he's. Uh... Pablo Escobar or something that he has people uh, that he robs houses and all that stuff. Well, what are you talking about? Well, this is what the Quran is saying. The 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 best of the the best of the. It doesn't say that. It's okay. A charity. What charity? Hold on. The best. You know what charity? If, is? If, if Muhammad if Muhammad he attack, is it true that the best of the of the of the booty is going to him? So what? He is the leader. Okay. Take care. So he <laughs> I got the answer. So what? He is the leader. So what? He is the leader. He is the leader of the gang. Uh, the well, the leader he should be is if he is serving Allah. It should not be about money. Why well, I want to get the big TV to my house? They are the one who is dying for me to go and fight. He just hit home. Why he get the 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 the, the best of the booty? Brother, the furniture, the expensive furniture to the Prophet, okay? The flip-flap is for you. Isn't it obvious that he is a scam? All right. Anyway, guys, I can't stay longer, really. I hope you have a good time. Did we have a good time? Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, what I do here, what I do is absolutely for free. I actually, I beg people to download my videos, to share them, to put them in their channels. If people make a donation, that's because they are helping, because I'm doing my best to help too. I can say all the books I'm giving for free, I'm not going to say it for free and forget about donation, and then I will make a lot of money from it. I have my, my book translated to many languages. If each one of them, you know, each language of those languages gave me a thousand dollars a month, that's it, I will live fine. Yet I give them for free. So don't tell me about donation. And we go live, and we finish live. Like long time ago, we tried to open a TV station because it was very expensive, and we could not make it. We asked people to help, nobody helped, so we cancel. But now we do not need it. We have the internet is better. Before there's no live YouTube, there's no, etc. You have to do it yourself. So when a Muslim try to frame you, and they are the one who believe in God, if you give him money, he give you paradise I say to you whoever say to you if you donate you go to paradise he is a thief he is a scam because in Christianity you cannot bribe God God he count your work but first he count your intention your faith what about if you give because you want to help not because you want to go to heaven then that will count but if you are trying to buy God that work only in Islam
This is why the God of Islam, he says, who want to give Allah a mortgage? And Allah will double it for him. That does not work with Christianity. That does not work with Jesus. And God who big for money cannot be God. Did Jesus beg for money? The Messiah, he can raise people from death. Did he take wages? You're a prophet, you agreed that he will not talk to you in a private unless you pay him. My Lord, he raised the people from death for free. He made the blind see for free. He made the person who cannot walk, walk for free. And all the disciples, they do the same. And this is why the Bible says, for free you took, for free you give. Isn't it amazing? For free you took. And you know, it's not a secret that there's nothing in this earth is for free. If I want to go right now and I want to fill up my car, who is going to give me my guys for free? I will say to them, I'm a Christian prince. Yet the Lord, he said to his disciples, your life will be extreme hard. And because your life will be extreme hard, you are my disciple. Not because you are a person who live a fantasy or a luxury. He said to them, if you want to follow me, you need to be a servant. In order to be a master, you have to be a servant. All the fiction stories about Muhammad, how humble he is, we find that, that it is the opposite. Because if he's humble, he don't care for the best of the booty. And why even he's accepting the booty? Is it Allah is your, your provider? And why Allah he need a mortgage? Can't Allah he ordered the ground to bring gold and silver? And how there's God, if you give money to him, he will double it to you. In which way? In the heaven? He will give you extra versions? But isn't it your prophet in the hadith, he said, none of you, his, he is saved by his own deeds. So this is a fraud. He was stealing the money. Because if none of my deeds and this giving money is deed, obviously it's very important deeds in Islam, and none of your deeds will help you. The Muslim here, they add the word alone as a fabrication for translation. But the true hadith says, none of those deeds will secure salvation for him. They said to him, even your prophet, he says, even I. So the verse in the Quran about giving money to Muhammad and then Allah will grant you double, 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 double reward is a, is a, is a fraud because you just told them that all the deeds will not help you. And I say to the Christians, I say to the Muslims, I say to everybody, anyone, he said to you, if you donate to me, you will go to heaven, you should know immediately that he is a fraud. You should be smarter than this. Anyone claim that he is serving God and yet he will not do the service unless you pay him, he is a fraud. And that including priests. But in Islam, we cannot say the same because all of Islam is based on a fraud. Muhammad himself, the, the best example, he cannot do anything unless you pay him. But we can say that when it's come to Christianity. For a priest, he will not bury a person. He go to the funeral unless you pay him. He is obviously a scam, not a true servant of God. A true servant of God, he go. And we understand that as priest, he make living from people gifts. He's serving them, right? He's not a farmer. Okay, he came, he prayed in the funeral. Uh, so people, they give him whatever they can. But he will not say, how much you pay me before the funeral? 
How much you will pay me before the wedding? Those who do this, they are scam. Stay away from them. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And your fruits is your tongue before your tongue speak. Right? The No, it says that. It says that. It says, If you want to speak to the prophet before you go, even it says private consultation. It's mentioned literally the word the private consultation. So don't give me a speech. Don't tell me it doesn't say that. Here we go. Let us put it again on the screen. And then Allah will forgive you. Do you see it? He promised you forgiveness if you do that. Or who you believe when you want, when you went to consult with the messenger in private, spend something. So this is for the private service. Muhammad, he opened a private clinic. He's the shrink. So don't tell me it doesn't say that. And now I know the Muslim will defend it because obviously Muhammad he loved money. But this is not the only verse in the Quran that says that Muhammad he want to take the fifth of every attack. The fifth. Look at this guy. He's saying this is not a must. Look guys, look at this answer. Just to show you how desperate they are. He said this is not a must. Right? Yeah. It's not a must, right? Okay. If it's not a must, why you are bothering the people with it? People, if they have good heart, alone they will give. And why you make it, if you want to have a private consultation? If Muhammad serving everybody, why it is mentioned about the private consultation? What is the connection between private consultation and you give something? And then if you cannot have, okay, what all, all, Allah is all merciful. Merciful for what? As if they commit sin. And this is not the only verse. You can go right now and search about the best of the booty for Muhammad, including women. Even the hadith. Muhammad, he was not shy to say. I was favor in the following things. Read with me. Uh, let me try to find the hadith. <coughs> He described how he been favored by many things and he described that the best of the booty is given to him. Let us see this one. All right. Here we go. 
But I want the other hadith where it says he got the best of the booty. Not only he got the booties. So he have been favor to be a terrorist, to install terror in the heart of the disbelievers from a distance of a one month journey. He has been favor to have the booties. See, all of those things, and even all the treasure of the earth, Muhammad should own all the treasure of the earth. Look how many verse. No, many hadith. But let me try. There's one I want to find. While Jesus, he did not take a penny. He did not own a donkey. He did not own a house. Actually, I have it here in front of me, but this is an, an, uh, an Arab uh, page. I wanted to find it in English. Here we go. Safiyu al Magnam li Rasul. The best of the booty, and they are explaining. A Muslim is asking a question, Fatwa number 1405, about the Prophet getting the best of the booty. They said, The Safiyul Magnum, it is what the Prophet he elect of him for his own from the booty. As an example, when he took from the booty Safiya, the best of the booty. And if the prophet his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can have her. And this is the translation. The interpretation of the, ver the verse was in the fatwa, etc. It says, uh, he chose to himself, the translation is very horrible, you know, the best of the booty and then they speak about but those who speak Arabic they can go and read let me post the link for you you can go read it by yourself you speak Arabic I'm sure this guy is speak Arabic why a prophet of God he want the best of the booty and why he choose the best of the women to go to his bed do you don't have enough money you don't have enough women nothing is enough for him right Uh, yeah, you see, he's saying here that in the in the uh, story of Moses, Moses he go and he took all the booties because they took everything if they have. The Jews they took everything. The Jews not only they took everything they have. The Jews they've been taking all of them. They took their goats. They took their animals. So this is what they used to do to the Jews. All the tribes around the Jews they used to attack them, and not only they take their money they take their whole nation so they are going and taking back what they lost you're a prophet here he's attacking the Jews who they never took anything from him did the Jews took anything from Muhammad did they kidnap Muslim women did they take the money of Muhammad never so the Muslim they say when the prophet was attacking the caravan he was attacking what because they kicked him out of the of Mecca. They lost everything there, which is a lie, because they left in peace. They took all their stuff with them. You can say they left, they, they left their houses, but you know, houses at that time, I mean, the earth is empty. Made of from dirt, built. Those are better when they can make a tent anywhere. Your prophet was attacking the caravan after the caravan, and then even the ones who never attack him, he attacked them. As an example, the Roman, 
He says, attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. Did your prophet, Muhammad Said, say attack the Roman and get the blondie girls? Because I know you are a stubborn and you, 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 you run like, like a potato from place to place. Your prophet, he says, attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. Is that enough of proof? that Muhammad is a fraud? Imagine today I say, let us attack Iceland. All of them, they are blonde. Okay, Christian Prince, why you wanna attack Iceland? Because when I get the blonde girls. Don't you wanna get the blonde girls? And then when a guy, he said to him, don't, don't tempt us with women, man. Muhammad, he accused him to be a hypocrite. He accused him to be a hypocrite and he made a verse about him in the Quran can you believe it that the one who refused to go and attack to steal women from their husbands and their family and we are going to do it because of what because they are blondies read with me Wanisa our room. Hadith number 16785. Which website we are reading? The official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Which book? The Sirat Tabari. And we can show you from other books. Translate to English. And then the coward, they will say to you, Well, isn't it Moses? And he accused the man who said to him, don't tempt me with women. Invade Tabuk. Conquer, to conquer and get the yellow daughter. Yellow daughter is translation for the word Asfar, which means blonde. This is what the word they use in the old days. Now we don't use it no more. We use Chakrawat. So attack the Roman, attack the Pook. This is what the Roman was there. Proving that the Arabian Peninsula end with Tabuk. And the Roman never invade that area after, you know, that, that's it. They never come to Mecca. The, the Roman never, never attack Mecca because it was empty. There's nothing there anyway. So conquer the Tabuk so you can get the yellow daughter and the women of the Roman. This person, he said to him, oh, excuse me, don't tempt us by women, you filthy. And then Muhammad, he made a verse about him saying, oh, he is the filthy, he is the hypocrite. So Muhammad was not attacking really to promote Islam. Muhammad was seducing his men. It's a gang. Attack so we can get the money of the Jews. Attack so we can get the money of the Christians. Attack so we can get the women of the, the blondie women. There's a video actually made by the Sheikh from Egypt. He said, do you know why we are poor? Do you know why we are poor? We don't do because we don't do jihad. Do you know how rich the Jews? Do you know how rich is Europe? If we go right now and we invade them, do you know how we will live? Now, this is not 20 centuries ago. This is now how they teach in the mosque. That is the truth. Attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. Not attack the Roman to make them believe in Allah. Attack the Roman so you can get a blondie women. That is the truth, and the truth hurt. So, guys, I want to say thank you very much for being here. I wish I can stay longer, but uh, what we did already was good three hours and 30 minutes. That's a lot of time. But as you know, I do my best. I mean, the, uh, really, you will find somebody stay with you like all those hours, right? For me, I love really to stay as much as I can. And people they ask me to make my video short so I'm thinking to make some videos which is extremely short and still we make some videos where they are long because I believe that long videos are the best one to give to give you the whole image short videos is kind of like giving you like a little bite here and there and they will not give you really the whole image
but I understand sometimes short videos can be more effective uh, because easy for people to watch them people are busy they have things to do it's not like me you know I'm spending my day with you there's people they have uh, things in their life you know they are busy with it which is normal yeah Muhammad, he said, if you conquer a nation, treat them inhabitant nicely. Yeah, this is why he raped them. Yeah. So treat them nicely by taking their women. Hmm. Guys, if you conquer a nation, so he's a good guy. I mean, come on. If you conquer a nation, treat them nicely. Kill the men. Kill all the men. Rape the women. And take the boys as the slaves. The Prophet said, if you conquer a nation, treat them nicely, uh, Abdul said. Don't come here again, coward, who don't dare to call me because you don't want to, you know, destroy your career. Do you see how nicely they are? He killed the men, and he took the women and the children as a slave. Nicely. I mean, how nicer it can be. The same as we saw in the video of ISIS kidnapping the Yazidi. Kill the men. Take the boys. And everyone who is a boy, he have little hair around his pubic area, kill him too. Nicely. Treat them nicely. You see how the Muslims try to fool you? So suddenly we have a nice thief. He's Robin Hood. Don't you hate your wife? Muhammad will take her. Don't you hate your husband? Muhammad will kill him. Nicely. What a filthy idiot. Coward. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we'll see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. Don't forget to subscribe. And always, you if, you if YouTube is not giving you notification, you can join us in Patreon, and don't worry, it's for free. You don't have to make any donation. It's just to get your uh, notification. Uh, all our service is for free. None of our service is not for free. All my videos, all my teaching, all my time is for free. I'm here to serve, not to be served. And I really appreciate those people who download the videos and those people who add subtitle and those people who support us by donation too. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care.